Welcome back to Blades and Blasters. This is Demon Gate. This is episode 18 of the Vagabond Campaign. Uh, tonight there is, uh, I guess, three of us until perhaps later. Uh, I'm Rogue. I'm the GM tonight. And tonight we have. Uh, we have Matihi playing Emmy. Wanderer is playing Norgar, and Friendly Fire is playing Ella, and we may have others join us later. You guys have sight there? mutant that purchased that was purchased from the magistrate by Delius was released into their hands and she gave them all information on a couple of locations or hideouts that she knew of where the elder eye operated one was a tavern in an inn called the slaughtered lamb the other was a luxurious house of lady Atala Vane, the highborn merchant house I was known to operate as a bordello in a bathhouse called the Palace of Pleasure. The guards wore the same purple color that the other members of the Elder Eye wore. Peef had gone to investigate the matter on the night of the 12th and never returned. The others were beginning to worry. So I guess in this scene we could start uh, back at the camp where you guys were at night time um, or some of you were and uh, maybe Delius had gone off to bed after his conversation with Emmy and and Anathia and uh, taking the children or or maybe he took the children you know to put them to bed and then you know just didn't return uh, uh, LR you can go ahead and uh and Norgar, you guys can go ahead and tell how you guys enter this scene here. I mean, you'd probably be staying in this place anyway, or it's up to you, or how you got here, why you returned, whatever. Um, yeah, Norgar um, comes back into the marketplace pretty late, uh, looking like a looking like a troll on a mission, um, and he heads straight over to where the caravan is, and he's. He's looking all around for someone and not not seeing them uh, and he looked um uncharacteristically happy when he first arrived but then uh, then uh, when he's not finding whatever it is he's looking for he's uh, he starts to look more yeah more kind of at least concerned again perhaps unhappy mm. Um, LR had tried to uh, get some sleep, but uh, he was deeply troubled by a number of things. Troubled by the fact that Aestis uh, was so willing to just throw herself away for a friend. Um, it, it troubled him that um, life comes so cheap in Northwater a place, a city that has so much beauty and so much knowledge, and yet slavery is happening in the cracks and the crevices. Wealthy folk who can flaunt the, you know, flaunt the law. Um, plus, uh, with the tossing and turning and the chittering of his new companion, always seeking attention, uh, he decided to head back outside and see if he could find the company of anyone else who was still awake. Uh, seeing Norigar, he'd say, uh, he would walk up and say, Right, Mara, how you doing? Uh, Norigar uh, sort of turns in, in 
slight surprise he didn't really see Ella coming up. And so looks down at him and says, Oh, um, uh, Ella. Right, yeah, um, I'm, I'm fine. Have, um, have you seen Delius at all? Nay. Anything for nothing, but he's always been, uh, a bit aloof to me. That's fine. That's his way. Yeah, well, he's, he's a good man in his way, right? And it, there's something about the... Norgas says it like a statement, but that right at the end, and something in his expression, I mean, he's... makes I think he's almost looking for confirmation. <clears throat> well, I don't know for sure, like, but, well, he certainly seems to have a better relationship with his daughters than my parents had with me. So, that's, that speaks highly of him then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's a, he's a good father. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've not got much of a way to judge because I, I don't remember my parents, but he seems like a good father. Yeah, yeah. No, he is. He's a good man. He's a good man. Oh, it's a shame I can't find him. I, I need to tell him something, but... That's all right. Uh, so how are you, Ella? Well, couldn't sleep. Feeling a bit gammy, I suppose. Does that mean you're coughing? I've noticed you cough a lot. You, oh. you, uh, you said you were. You had a sickness once, right? Oh, yeah, I'm on. Uh, uh, last summer, had a touch, a bad spell. They thought I might not make it, but I did. So I kept going. No, tonight I was more troubled about the city that we're on. And, well, I don't want to add anything to your plate if you've already got a full one, but there's the darkness in these streets troubles me and Noragar's face his mouth sort of turns down at the corner into his sort of familiar scowl and he says oh, I know just what you're talking about we ran into a man nasty piece of work with gold teeth tried to lie to us about the gold he was counting uh, eventually we got it out of him he was selling girls off to the brothels. He just put into him. Sorry, say that again. I talked over you. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I paused. Um, he said, uh, Delia's put an end to him. We've, uh, we've got his ill-gotten gains here. And he pulls out a pouch of gold and says, I'm going to uh, distribute it to the poor in the morning. That's the same man that I used to stop to with the gold teeth. Uh, a friend of hers was missing and well somehow I don't recall but she knew that that was the man to talk to to find him and sure enough he knew Emerin was the girl's name. And we went and from the information that she got from him we went to a place, some bathhouse. But it's not just a bathhouse. It's a brothel, and the ones who works in the brothel, they're not willing participants, if you get my meaning. And even though slavery's illegal in Northwater, they're doing it. They don't care. Rich folk can get away with whatever they want. I don't can it. It isn't uh, right, is it? No, it's so not right. Much, so much bloody injustice in this world. It really boils my balls. And uh, he, he, um, he gives a sort of rumble low in his stomach people shouldn't have to live the way some people have to and the way other tree people treat their fellow humans oh. and he um, 
he starts grinding his teeth. It's just not right how people can treat others that way. I don't understand it, and I hate it. I wish I could put an end to all of it. Whole bloody world worth of it. So many good people suffering. Too much to fix. That's what gets me. You know what I mean, Ella? You look around and you do what you can, but there's always more. Always more of it. I thought we had done a good thing. Getting rid of that and Ar Aramis and all his. And then, before the night's even done, there's more. This awfulness. <laughs> LR begins to wheeze and have to sit down. Norigarth, seeing that sort of reaction in him, sort of uh, realizes that he's getting uh, a little bit worked up himself and sort of uh, takes a couple of deep breaths and says, oh, Sorry, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have set you off, but I hate this. I hate it to the depths of my guts. I've suffered at the hands of others and I've seen so much of it going on that uh, I've devoted my life to it, trying to end it, but it's never enough. Never enough. But you, uh, you calm yourself. You do a good job, Ella. You're a good man. And you help people. At the end of the day, that's all we can do. You know, LR takes several wee long, like, you know, tries to calm down, several shuddering, wheezing gasps. And before, when he's finally able to speak again, he says, oh, oh, anything for nothing, but... I have to try to stay calm so I don't just fall over, but I don't want to be calm. I don't like it. I what can just, we do? I know just what you mean. Well, times like this, it's prayer that keeps me going. But, well, you've got to find your own way. But I think, well, an old priest I used to know told me that you aren't responsible for what you can't fix. You've just got to do what you can and, well, let the Maker take care of the rest and have faith. Sometimes that's bloody hard, but it's all we can do. Having that patience, that acceptance that the world's always going to have evil in it is, uh, it comes very hard to me. Oh, there was this fella that I knew. Taught me about the stars. This professor. He said that the twelve, the fates, they, they can see worlds that we can't see. The stars shine down on all of them. And that there's a grand pattern. And that what we think, what we see, what we can, has evil and awful that if we just had a, a view of that the stars have it would make more sense but I'd have an eye it's hard Nurigal. to ignore Nurigal pauses for a second and then looks like he's turning that over in his head and he, he nods and he says oh I think I've I've heard the same sort of thing said about what the Maker sees. Yeah, when you see more, you understand more. But I like this, the, the pattern. I like that. I like that. I once saw the back of a tapestry and it was a mess. <laughs> but the front was beautiful. Maybe it's like that. Why, why, I'm on. That's the same metaphor that the Professor used. Yeah, he turned over the rug and the room and it's just, it was just a tangle of skeins, you know, yarn going ever which way. Because you could see how they would take it from one part to the other. But it's beautiful on the front. Yeah. Yeah. I did like that, so it's a good metaphor. Norigar smiles and he's looking a little uh, calmer again. He says, oh, well, thank you, Ella, you've... Uh, you brought me a bit of peace of mind tonight. 
and then uh, something seems to occur to him and he says look have you uh if you haven't seen Dilius, have you seen emmy at all oh. or Inithia? i think emmy was going to talk to Inithia tonight so if you've seen either of them well i think like i saw them in that first helmet on my way out i couldn't sleep oh right well, look, I'm heading that way. Do you fancy a drink? If you can't sleep anyway. Why, well, I'm on. That's jumpy on that. Nice. Still it might me. be a good night to get mortal. Um, Norigard doesn't quite get the reference and looks puzzled, but but nods um, and uh, starts walking over towards the uh, to the inn. And uh, will... reaching. Sorry. I say Elor will follow along. Um, looking around for the furry little monkey and when it hops up onto his arm uh, Ella will say I don't remember Toko Toko, Norigar, Norigar, Toko Norigar looks I don't think he's met the monkey, is he? Uh, were you at the Flame Temple? No, no Oh, no. then yeah, uh-huh. you have not It's the first yeah. time so Norigar looks down at the monkey and sort of puts his head on one side and looks and says, Whoa, don't believe we met. Um, and uh, you can see, uh, I don't think he'll have ever seen a monkey before. So he's kind of looking at it and trying to work out if he should speak to it or stroke it. Um, don't want to be rude, but is this a friend or a pet? Well, both. Life should be scratched behind the ears, just right here. Oh, right. And Norigar reaches over very cautiously with a huge finger and very, very gingerly strokes the kind of scratch of the monkey behind the ear. Yeah, the uh, monkey squeaks and uh, uh, it seems to play with your, your hand for a moment. Uh and then it runs up onto your sh- onto your arm and uh, runs along your shoulder. Uh, also starts to uh, pick through any hairs that you might have, play with your horns. Uh, Norigar looks a little bit surprised at first and then a little bit concerned and then uh, and then after a minute he he looks quite flattered and then he kind of ducks his head uh, with Toko probably still on it and uh, very careful to clear the lintel of the inn and walks inside looking for Emmy. I see you open up the door. Emmy is sitting at one of the tables in the first helmet and as the door swings open, um, Emmy kind of perks up. Uh, She'd been staring very hard towards the door, waiting for a small figure to stroll in. She's been waiting for hours. Gone through a few cups of water in the meantime, gone pee a few times. Uh, as the door swings open, she gets a little bit excited um, and deflates a bit, seeing that it's Norgar and uh, Elar. <sighs> she takes a deep breath, um, but she motions the two of them over. Norgar will wave and uh, walk over, still having to duck his head slightly because of the ceiling and then he uh he comes over and says oh Amy, i was uh i was looking for you and uh and delius um oh and you remember Ella, right he couldn't sleep so i invited him over for ale um uh, and then without without giving emmy a chance to even reply he just immediately kind of like trade you know, kind of you know, a train of consciousness because it turns over to the uh, bar and goes, Oh, barkeep, two ales. Three, Emmy, three ales. And she shakes her, No, 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 I, uh, I, I don't drink. Hey, oh, um, yeah, they yeah. Have you seen beef? What? I've been waiting no, for, I was for, hours. for Delius. Oh, uh, Delius, I think he went to go put the kids to bed, but I think he went to bed as well. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I haven't seen beef. 
I mean, she normally goes hunting, but I don't know what she does in the city. No, no, no. She's... I don't think she's hunting tonight. She she wasn't. She wasn't. Um, She was looking into uh, the one brothel uh, that was owned by Lady Vane, I think it was. One of the uh, people who are still in charge of the the cult that's in the city. Um, she's just going to peek in, do a little reconnaissance, and... Then come back and talk to Delius and I, but it's been hours. And I haven't seen her at all. Oh, that's not good. No, no, no. I was, uh... I told Delius I'd stay up for a little bit longer until she came back, but... I'm really worried. Yeah, I mean... Those aren't people you want to mess with, right? No. I mean... I don't want to think the worst or anything like that, but we know they already tried to abduct her once. I shouldn't have let her go alone. Ellar's face <sighs> clouds over, and he says, Anything for nothing, but I've had my fill of brothels in the city. What? What? Why are we waiting here? Let's just go. Emmy pushes herself out of her seat and like slams her hands to the table. She's like, "You're right. We just go over there and see if she's there, and I don't know, shake someone down. It, it's a bathhouse, apparently. I don't, I don't think it's a brothel. I don't know if they're all the same, but let's go anyway." Is that just what they call slave brothels in the city? They call them bathhouses. What? Ooh, We're gonna turn every bathhouse in the city. What? What, what? what do you mean slave? I'm really confused. You know, and I was fed up with all the evil here. It's just, it's disgusting. Uh, and uh, Norigar reaches up carefully and takes the monkey off his head very gently and hands it back to Ilar and says, That's all the elves. We've got evil to smite. And you notice, um, like, the, the tavern is, like, very, you know, uh, uh, it's it's very late, so it's probably, yeah, it's probably around three, I guess, in the morning. Um are getting close to so um most of the people have passed out or there's still some people in there and you notice tehe is in there still um still guarding uh same uh who is pretty much asleep at the table and uh Tehe's, like drinking a, a mead it appears uh and uh Inithaya is walking over and she was smiling at first, and then she she hears the uh, uproar. She starts to come over. And she's like, "Are you leaving?" Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, we're gonna go look for Peef. She's been back in hours, and we need to make sure she's okay. If oh. they've taken her, they're gonna pay. Um. Oh. And she looks a little bit worried, and uh, Tehe perks up, though, as he takes a sip, and he says, Ah, do you need my help, Norgar? Norgar looks over, and he doesn't seem to have spotted Tehe until now, and he sort of says, Ah, oh, Tehe, good to see you, my friend. Um, no, you guard the prisoner, thank you. All right, then. And uh, it seems like, uh, since he spoke, you notice uh, the same wakes up a little bit. And he says, um, uh, you're going to the place, uh, the bathhouse. Uh, this one knows about that place, correct? Yeah, she uh, is the one that told us about it. <gasps> hey, wake up. Hmm. We need to know some information. And uh, Sam yawns a bit as uh, she she looks over, and then she seems a little bit more afraid, becoming the the center of attention. At, and she looks between all of you, and she says, "What do you need to know?" Ah, uh, that that bathhouse, the the one that uh, Lady Vane owns. Is there any like back ways into it or anything like that? Do they take prisoners? Where would they take prisoners? Where were you gonna take, wait, where were you gonna take Peef? I was going to take her back to the, the slaughtered lamb that 
It's an inn on the way to the Broken Back Wolves. If she if she got caught at that at that bathhouse, would they have taken her there, or, or would she be still at the bathhouse? Um, there are um oh, there is uh, certainly a uh, a place underneath the bathhouse. Um, it is quite like a dungeon in there. Perfect. You're gonna get us in there. Oh. Uh, I could do that. You could and you I would. S- and she comes over and she's like, Hey, I don't think we need to guard the prisoner anymore. We're good. She says, okay. Well, uh, I suppose I should stay here then and, uh, and watch the mead. Yeah, if you, if you see Peef, uh, come back, then tell her to come and find us. Yeah, uh, that'd be good. But actually, don't send her alone. Go with her if they're looking to yeah. kidnap her, then. Yeah. And Athia looks to you uh, kind of concerned. She's like, oh, what would you like me to do? And he looks over at Ineth, kind of walks over, uh, puts her hands on her cheeks and leans down. Um, what do you want to do? Well, perhaps I should assist you. Uh, this could be dangerous. Mm. Quite dangerous. Uh, are any of you good at sneaking about and infiltration? Mm, I don't think so. Perhaps you could use my skills. Uh, yeah, that'd be I'd like that. Emmy he gives Anathia a kiss and slides her hands down and takes one of her hands and looks to the others. All right, we should go. All right. Ella, are you going to take the monkey as well? Yes. Yeah. I don't think I have a choice. Tea time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take the familiar. Could come in Toko, handy. Yeah, Toko be like, I'm not staying here. I'm going with you. <laughs> you don't own me. Right. I still think about that monkey from Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what I thought of immediately when I. We first talked about it. All right, city streets at nighttime. This is over by the banking guilds too. Right. Um, oh no, that was the Atticarlian place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these are different bathhouses, correct? Yeah. Okay. But it is very similar. So I guess Gold Tooth was just um, selling girls to any of the brothels in the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was a. Oh, um, as a heads up, something that I uh, gave to there's two things that I gave to Inathia. Um, I gave her the Aravok hide and the Aravok bracers. Oh yes, let me add those. Mm-hmm. So the, the Airbach hide has 5 AR and the bracers have 2. Where are those from? They're from a while ago. That's when we killed the Flayed Raven. Oh, yeah, because we still have um, a couple of loot lists, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was just on her person. And then she got some. Then there was stuff from like other loot tables that she grabbed. Did you um, Did you guys get a loot list from session 18 or whatever? Session uh, 17? No, because they didn't fight. Yeah, we didn't get one from 16 either. Um, so the, I guess the last one's from Kazim's Tower, which would be the 15th. Yeah. Let me just see if there's anything on that that we might need tonight. Um, yeah. Oh, Kazim's Tower. Yeah, because I, I took the uh, Brigandine. Okay, the Aravac hide. Um, do you know, remember the armor rating? Yeah, five. Okay. Oh, actually, Noragar would take the infantry shield as a uh, spare if he could. 
Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, 100%, uh, we're taking uh, those three purple cloaks. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't think it's going to do well for Norgar, <laughs> but we can put it on <laughs> Emmy, LR. I didn't know we had a troll. We, yeah, yeah. we could do the prisoner <laughs> thing <laughs> from, from, oh, yeah. from Star Wars. <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. Yes. We got the prisoner. So same can wear a cloak, uh, Inith can wear a cloak, and LR can wear a cloak, and then Emmy and Norgar don't have to wear cloaks. That's such a good idea. It's like a Wookiee gal, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing? Fuck off. <laughs> it's perfect. It's foolproof. Okay, so Inith uh, um, had Aravac hide. Mm hmm. And the airbag bracers, which have two AR. Now we're sharing clothes. All right. So, okay. She, her her armor rating is ready, and I have. She got the new throwing. Oh my god! Hold on a second. That's all right. Right before they head out, Emmy's just dressing up in it. So, um, man, I have, uh, some crazy stuff that I probably will never remember in a time mm -hmm. of crisis. I have this ridiculously powerful, um, like one dose of this really hideous mm -hmm. acid that does a, a stupid amount of damage. Oh, I'm no. never going to remember it though. But now that I've told you, <laughs> and maybe you'll maybe I'll help me remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be like, "Hey, man, we're about to die. Why don't you throw that acid?" Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh, speaking of which, uh, well, I guess we'll wait till Rogue comes back. Yeah. I have a grappling hook. In case you need it. I've got some uh, lanterns and vials of oil. Yeah. I have a lantern, but no oil. It's very Ooh, helpful. Ooh, we'll give you some oil. Um, I do have uh, 50 feet of rope with a grappling hook, so it's this satchel, Sweet. which is fucking weighing me down. Although I got a gift roll. of My last gift roll was plus one strength, and I was like, oh, it's because <laughs> I've been carrying around this heavy satchel for fucking yes. like a week. <laughs> I've built up some muscle tone. <laughs> I went from 9 strength to 10 strength. Woohoo, I can carry medium stuff now. <laughs> nice. Um, and I just bought and, new armor. Damn it. And it's got the, the throwing knives, which were yeah. steel and D12. Okay. We're arming up the NPC. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's arm everybody up. Oh, yeah. Need to protect. She did go up a couple levels too, so I'm gonna make Ooh. sure she got skills. I don't want her skills to be total crap either. Mm -hmm. Well, we're spending enough time on her. I mean, she should definitely level. <laughs> so it looks like to me that Emmy is like at two thirds health. Is that correct? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so that would be physically noticeable, right? Yeah, she's definitely got like quite a few like cuts and bruises. They're not bleeding anymore. Um, but she's definitely like damaged. Yeah. So I think um, Elor would say, "I don't think for nothing, Emmy, but hmm? how you doing? Oh, you don't uh, look so good. Uh, oh. I mean, I got uh, hurt earlier when we were in the tower. Um, but All I right. mean, overall, besides the whole beef thing, I'm I'm, I'm doing great." <laughs> I'm still. Give us a deke. What? A deke? Yeah, uh, so uh, LR's trying to get you to stop fidgeting so he can examine your wounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she's, like, really confused at first. She's like, oh, okay. I'll stand still. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Ooh, heal! That's 
so nice. Oh my god, there's a beef. It's me. Oh, hello. Wild beef appears. Oh god, hey, hi, how's it going? Oh, I'm, I'm fully healed. So how does that look uh, as you heal up Emmy fully? Yeah, so um, basically, um, LR sort of sits you down and, um, you know, uh, puts some salve on, you know, any scrapes or cuts that you have. If you have an actual, like, bleeding wound, he would try to stitch it up with some thread. And then as he's doing all of that stuff, you hear him, you know, incanting in um, a, a long dead Do you speak any dead languages? No, just live languages. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So he's he's speaking in you know some ancient tongue, uh, and um, I don't know. Would there be a bit of perhaps there might be a, a subtle glow about his hands as he's working on you? Yeah, definitely. The uh, uh, is it uh, are you using healing magic? Yeah. 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 The uh, the white glow. I always imagine it is uh is like rapid regeneration uh, as it places the cells almost like stitches the cells back together. Yeah, Amy looks down at her wounds as they have fully kind of closed and she looks up to Ella and smiles widely and says, "Thanks. This definitely feels a lot better." Nebosh she stands up um and she kind of leans down and uh gives you a quick hug that's it gently <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> i'm gonna crush you you're so small uh, you're so strong i know oh. <laughs> i got a warna fella is that an animal <laughs> Watermelon? You've got to warn a fella before oh, you crush him. Sorry. I mean, sometimes people enjoy getting crushed. She glances over to Inithia. <laughs> <laughs> see these thighs? You see these thighs? I could crush a watermelon with these thighs. <laughs> and your face. <laughs> and it smiles. Um, you guys head out into the streets in the night and start to make your way towards this place. Uh, let's see if anything happens. It is uh, the crescent moon, and there's not not a lot of light in the streets except for the lanterns, but not, not very much natural light at all. You make it all the way to the bathhouses without any encounter with the guards or... Uh, any problems with the curfews? Uh, you you see some guards and stuff, some night watchmen walking around through the streets, especially in the in the uh, the richer areas. Um, they they often they often uh, patrol the streets. Uh, most of the time, it's around eight guardsmen. Uh, one of them often carries a. Uh, this device called a man catcher, which is like a pole arm with a uh, a device that will wrap around your neck uh, with spikes on it that kind of hold you there. A nasty device, and uh, and oftentimes they also have a mage guard with them, at least one in their group. And especially in Northwater, the guards are pretty nasty or powerful. Should I should, I should say? As you get to this place, um, same, uh, you guys are kind of in an alleyway across the way from this place. Uh, and same mentions that there's an easier way to get to the dungeon area. Um, mm -hmm. We would still have to sneak into the windows. It's uh, through the garden there and up into the windows. And you can see what she's talking about. 
there's a small courtyard area where there's just plants and uh, and statues and then it it goes up about 15 feet where there's columns and archway windows uh, and if you can get up there into those windows you could sneak right into the dungeon area if you're not good for climbing or sneaking uh, uh -huh. <laughs> you would you would have to uh, uh, the closest way uh, she points at another entrance where there are stairs but there's also a guards a guard there with uh, a crossbow standing in the window mm. Mm -hmm. Noriga says to you as quietly as he can no I'm, I'm no good for sneaking in anywhere why don't you lot sneak in and then as soon as I hear a fuss I'll come running uh I mean we could just take out that guard and she points to the the crossbowman I don't know like sneak up take him out then go on that door oh it's your call you're the brains uh <laughs> <laughs> Emmy like, <laughs> looks to Norgar uh, a bit of doubting. It's like I'm I'm more like the heart and soul uh, more than anything. And when she looks over to LR, what do, what do you think? I think you're more brainy guy. Oh, I don't think for nothing. But would you even fit through that little window? I just <laughs> Emmy stands back and looks at LR for a moment. And says, <laughs> I am a not you, Norgar. Oh, I was gonna say I'm a dainty flower. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're, and Nor Norgar actually nods completely earnestly and goes, "Yeah, you're you're tiny." No, no. Um, yeah, not sure I would to be honest. I was thinking really, as soon as I heard noise, I'd just take that guard out. Mm. But at least that way, you guys get some measure of surprise. I, I don't know if we're great at surprise, to be honest. Uh, she looks over to Inathia. Well, what do you think? Uh, you're much stealthier than all of us. I suppose I could take the guard out. Perhaps I could make my way over to the, uh, the ledge there, lower rope down. Could you climb? She looks over to Norgar. Um... I'm not the best at climbing, to be honest. I've, uh, I find the ropes a bit flimsy, and uh, I've got all this armor weighing me down. And we should just you notice take he's also got all these bags and stuff. He's he's very unevenly weighted for someone's going to be climbing. We should just take out the guard. I mean, uh, you and I can kind of sneak up, maybe, and we can just, if you need to, throw some knives at him, and I'll uh, run up there and I don't know, punch him in the face. Can we actually see the guard from where we are? Yeah, yeah, you can see him uh, every once in a while. He he'll walk by the window. Uh, the windows aren't like small; they're like um, they're really large, like stone arches, almost. And it's open. You know, there's no way to actually close it. It's kind of on a ledge, about 15 feet up. Ah, uh, uh, okay. You know, almost like a balcony type thing if, where you can walk out. If it's 15 feet up, can Norgar, like, literally just reach up and grab it he, and pull himself could. up? Yeah, yeah, he could. Oh, nice. Does that change Norgar's opinion about getting up to the ledge? Uh, Not the sneaking part, but just pulling yeah. himself up there. Yeah, that probably would, actually. Yeah, he'll be quite confident pulling himself up as long as the window still doesn't break or anything. Well... Anything that I can see, I can kill. So if we time Perfect. it right, the next time he passes by that window, he just drops. I mean, we're assuming that he's not an innocent person that's just guarding this place and doesn't have a clue what's really going on. So, I don't know. And LR looks pointedly at same. Oh, is he wearing a purple cloak? He is, he has a Oh, a fuck that cult. guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Emmy says, he's part of the cult. I think we can get rid of him. Go, cool. then. The Her next time he passes the window. <gasps> okay, let's do it. All right. Let's you up this. a spell. 
aim, 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 aim. Yep. <laughs> Five turns to aim. <laughs> oh, can you aim for more than a single no. turn? <laughs> I don't oh, think okay. so. Yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, so um, LR will begin concentrating. Specifically on Astral Glaive, I guess, if it matters. Yeah, you noticed the guard uh, up here in the window there. And if you want to fire a spell, then you can do that. I will do that. Rip, baby. That's All right, let's hope I don't good. blow the damage roll. Oh, Power Surgeon. Oh, do I have Saga for Power Surge? Hang on. I don't think I can do it. It's okay. Oh, that should take it. Oh yeah, what's it look like? Is he killing? Um. So is there um? Is this this ledge that this that he's walking on? Does it have like uh, metal sconces or anything with um like torches on them or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. It ha it also has like a, a a small balcony, you know, that kind of made of marble. It kind of goes, uh, you know, around in an oval shape, almost half oval, uh, and then it falls into a garden area where there's like, you know, bushes and ferns and things like that. Yeah. So what happens then is, as he's walking past one of those sconces, like just a piece, a sharp piece of like of the metal, just just sticks right through the back of his skull. Just nice. Down he goes. A piece of metal. Nice. <laughs> And if I have smiles and she says, let's go. Right. All right. Hopefully. Everybody just make one stealth check. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> and the target number is going to be four. Oh, God. I have a minus two to this because of my armor. Okay. No, if there's any stealth required, Nora is not going to move. <laughs> He's going to stay well back. Got to do That's it. That's with your minus two. You got it. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Do I need to make one? <laughs> you can do it, Norgar. Yeah, this yeah. Uh, no, I can't. I, I, I really think Norgar should just be auto fail because he's got no ranks and minus eight. Ranks oh my god! From, uh, okay, that's so, valid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just... have no idea what eight even roll. <laughs> he just stands like right behind. One, one B <gasps> minus one. Oh, we're so <laughs> sneaky. Tehe rolling as an Oh, I gotta take my hair. <laughs> They roll as one. <laughs> same. Ah, but the same, same person. Same no, no, we have seen them in the same place at the same time now. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we've seen the same in the truth. same place at the same time. <laughs> so everybody except for Norgor has rolled. I mean, I guess we could it. clear the ledge, and then once we have the ledge clear, we could wave Norgar up. Yeah, or he could pray. Or uh, what is uh, what is your his prayers. Yeah. what is your roll? Um, you have like a negative what? Negative eight. Uh, oh my god! Ranks. Yeah, negative that's why I tended to say he's going to just fail automatically. Yeah, I just, I just think at that point it's yeah. minus eight ranks. Yep. Oh it, shit! All his armor. All that armor. <laughs> armor. What happens if you get to rank zero? Oh, he's way beyond um, rank zero. <laughs> What would he be on? He'd be on rank. I think uh, dexterity, the he? lowest you can do is uh, a, D2. a D2. He'd be rank minus four. Just roll a D2 exploding constantly. <laughs> okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. Clonk, clonk, clonk. 
All right, let's do this. I'm gonna put you guys in the bathhouse now. I wonder how Peef's doing down there. Peef napped. That's true. If anything happens to Peef, you can just play their uh, sibling, Feep. All of Peef's siblings have names, actually. Yeah, Feep. Nice. Feep <laughs> is not one of them. Kids that is Feep picks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh, top-down map. Oh, we know what this means. The kissing scene. There's so there gonna be so many kissing scenes. Ooh, bath. You guys have sight? Yeah. You wanna Ooh. take a bath? I already took a bath today. Noragar looks suspiciously at the water. <laughs> What's it gonna do to me? Yeah. You've never seen quite that much in, in one place indoors. <laughs> this looks wrong. <laughs> so when you come up there, um, Norgar, uh, uh, your armor is like scraping as you're pulling yourself up uh, on the, you know, on the into the window and on the balcony thing. Uh, makes a loud scraping noise, and um, uh, luckily, as you guys kind of fall in, and Athia puts her back up to the wall, and she's got some knives in her hands, uh, she seems to be smiling and excited about this. Uh, she looks around uh, the corner and uh, kind of waves for you guys to come in. Um, and Sam is crouched uh, and starting to look over the dead body of this guard that you guys killed in the window here. And, uh, and Sam turns to you and says, um, uh, the entrance to the dungeon is that way. And she points to the south, uh, east area of this map. Um, so you guys could go to the right or you guys could go to the left, but over in the left, you actually, everybody make perception checks when you're in here before you start noticing or hearing shit. Oh yeah, like we can definitely hear everything that's about to go on. Yep. <laughs> and it looks just really pretty right now. <laughs> no, Norikal's learned observation. Hey. Ah, that. beautiful. That's four now. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was on D eight plus D six as well. <laughs> Eli, you can hear the the sound of voices over to the southwest. There's an entrance over there. I don't know if you guys can see this bleep. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, there's a door over there, and uh, you can hear talking going on. You also hear splashing. I mean, uh, it's pretty early in the morning, uh, so there's not a lot of clientele in here. I mean, this pool area that you're in is completely empty, but... um. Uh, you can still hear, like, you know, the drunken sounds of people still awake and, and messing around in here. In this room? No. It's, it okay. seems like it's coming from the other room. Alright, mm -hmm. so, um, Hello will say, Shh. and we'll do the universal finger to his lips, which everyone understands, and point towards that door. And then, um... Is it telepathic communication between him and Toko, or no? Yeah, something, yeah. Something different. Yeah, so um, LR will ask Toko to run over there as quietly as she can and uh, see if that door is open or shut or uh, has a window or a let, you know, a, can, can be peeked under it, and he will um, look through her eyes. Or their eyes, I guess. I'm going to connect all players to view Toko right now. So. Oh, we got monkey vision! 
Yeah. So, um, just so you can see, yeah, there's some people in there. It looks like uh, there's a guard, uh, heavily armored, uh, standing up against the wall. You notice some torch light coming from here, and, uh, and it seems to be talking coming from there. There's a, a bathhouse, another bath to the north of that area, uh, where this prostitute is. I cannot uh, see through Toko. No. I'm going to refresh can. and see if no. that works. Me refresh? Let's see. I'm trying to see. Oh, I know what it is. Sorry. Uh, that, that how dare you, rogue? Mistakes are a natural part of any session. <sighs> mm. There you go. That's you got things. things. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can see there's a there's a guard in there and uh there is a trouble I guess if you're spotted walking by that door. But uh um, same starts to creep off this way anyway. Uh, is it purple cloak time? Maybe. Or are we already wearing them? Because if not, let's put them on. Uh, we have three. Oh, we have four now because the guard! We have four now, yeah. Oh, Emmy will put on the guards. Uh, she'll like pick it up underneath his body and like, uh, put it around her neck. Look at Norgar. Uh, we'll just put yeah. him into a prisoner or something. Yeah, Norgar's looking at one of these cloaks, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the uh, Starsky and Hutch movie where they got the where they got the far too small towels around their waist. But that's kind of how it would look if he put this on. So he's he's looking at it very suspiciously, and sort of says, "Um, yeah, probably a good idea. Um, right, who's going to carry me? Step my weapons." I don't think we have to worry yet. Just like, I don't know, put them on your back. They won't be able to see your back. You're fine. All right. Awesome. And Emmy will start following Sam. Um, so LR will ask, um, you know, Toko to sort of stay there and just let him know if people start coming towards that door as we move through this room that we're in and he'll turn his sight back to himself so he can see where the hell he's going. Um, and Norigar whispers to Ila, look, I think I'll uh, hang back a bit, and then when you've gotten a bit further, I'll follow a bit behind at a distance, because I'll make a lot of noise. Isn't Norigar also really slow, though? Mm-hmm. Fairly. Yeah. <laughs> so he'll just plod along. You guys will be creeping and creeping and darting from pillar to pillar, and he'll just plod at some distance behind. He'll just carry on moving constantly, and you guys will be darting and stopping, darting and stopping. It'll probably even out. Okay. All right. Uh, so some people are wearing their sashes. Yeah, Everyone think... except Noragar. Yep. All right, yeah. Same starts to uh, walk normally. And uh, I'm going to make a random roll to see if anybody walks in this direction. I mean, we don't have to... The four of us in purple cloaks don't really have to creep, do we? Mm. Oh, true. Come on, Edith. Nobody walks this way. Toko watches and guards mm. successfully. And, uh... Yeah, Nor Norgar, you can go ahead and go this way. Actually, the way is all all clear, but I kind of want you to guys to, because uh, you might have to access this way as well. So it'd be probably good to see what what is uh, exactly over here. And hopefully you'll have Peef with you when you're uh, mm -hmm. exiting. How warm's Emmy kind of leans down and feels the water. Uh, how warm is it? Um, I think it's probably fading. Like, they try to keep it warm. Mm. Um, actually, you know what? No, I think 
I think it is, it is warm. They've uh, successfully mastered the art of uh, warming the pipes in here. I mean, they got they got fucking magic, and they can warm the pipes for a while. Yeah. <laughs> warm the pipe. Yeah. So she's got a her hands a bit wet, and she shakes it out. And then I think uh, she kind of comes up behind Inathia and puts her hand on the back of like Inathia's neck. <laughs> yeah, you can see she uh. She gets goosebumps from it. And, uh, says, Ah! This is exciting, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's really exciting. No time for love, Dr. Jones. We had company. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And, uh, Toko, you've, you... Toko notices a few people moving back and forth. Uh, there's this guy, if you can see that one. Oh, I do see that one. Okay. It looks like a heavily armored red mage. Uh, I mean, to you, you would notice notice him for what he is, you know? Yeah, once uh, um, once LR gets into this little alcove area, he will um, switch and view through Toko's eyes. And, you know, hope he doesn't get left behind. And same points to the stairs here and says, this is the way to the dungeon. Alright. Hopefully we can get Peef out without any, I don't know, fighting? But I mean, if we have to, you know, destroy some purple cloaks, that's that's fine. Are the people in here wearing purple cloaks? Or no? If it's not a pu purple cloak, um, uh, some of them have a sash with that same color. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, something hanging from their belt with the, the sim this symbol on it, uh, the symbol of the, uh, the Elder Eye here. You, you can see that. Wow. wow, they're just wearing it out in the open. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Yeah. None of, the, none of the guards do, but, like, this guy here, uh, he is wearing it on an amulet. All right, I'm going to a new map now. Oh, before you switch us to another map, um, I got to get Toko back. So just want to make sure Toko doesn't encounter any interference along the way. Ooh. Monkey vision. Duck in here. Oh, okay. There's some people in the bath in there. Mm, yeah. Are these 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 are doors here or no? Yep. Are they naked? <laughs> yes. The doors? Yeah, the doors are super naked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Toko makes it back without any trouble? Yeah. Um, and is Norgar in this alco with us or not? Is he still hanging out in the bath? Uh, I'm standing behind the pillar. I'm back, uh, I'm back here. Okay. Um, so LR will very quietly and enunciating as best as he can, he'll say, anything for nothing but there's a whole lot of people in a smaller bath just behind that door okay so we'll avoid going to the bath gotcha so and then LR will lean out and like give Norgar the hurry up motion uh, Norgar's just standing there He's, he seems to be waiting staying clear of them he just makes a go on go on kind of motion alright we'll go on because as soon as he's with you, he could give your position away pretty easily. Yeah, they all start to go, uh, go down to to the door. Uh, at the door that you reach down here, it is locked. A large wooden door. The keyhole, one of those old keyholes you can see through. Um, yeah, and the uh, the old handle is. It's got like a, a lion's head on it, uh, made of brass, and yeah, and it's locked. And we looks back to Ineth. Can you, uh, can you pick this? Oh yes, I 
to try. All right. Ooh. Nice. And she pulls out the uh, lock picks and quickly makes makes it open up. There's a click. Uh, she opens up the door. That will bring you to the next map. There's a high guard. <laughs> the door is open. Uh, you come into a stairwell, well lit. Uh, everybody's got sight here? Ah. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, and, yes, uh, two guards down at the... Uh, at uh, the lower floor, you know, uh, kind of descends down there to a little balcony here. And all well lit torches and stuff. And uh, you can see there's a even a heavily armed guard sitting at the desk there. Uh, uh, he, he looks upward towards you all as you enter into this chamber. And the other guards kind of, they turn as well towards you. There's a fountain over here uh, of water with runes laid around the, around it. Um, it seems like uh, a strange, almost uh, demonic face that's on the wall over here with the water pouring out of it. Uh, um, the guard stands wait, up. Wait, can I just... Uh... Uh, can I look up something real quick I, uh, um, before we carry on? I, my my lack of knowledge on the rules, real quick. Yep. Um, where are languages on there? I'll just use the index index language. I'm gonna say um, as soon as we enter this room, um, uh, Noragar is trying to keep as quiet as he can, but you can hear this growling, kind of rumbling deep in his chest as he looks across at, uh, at this over here. I think the only thing that Emmy would say as they look up is, Hello, fellow guardsmen! Uh, oh, shit. I just closed the PDF. Okay, but I found what I needed to know. Um, so is Emmy going to say that, or...? A hundred percent. Unless you want to say something say beforehand. Something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so LR steps forward, and he raises one hand, palm up, and he says, In Thok, or... Uh, what's the actual language name? Sorry. Uh, is Ethanol. He'll say, uh, Hail, brothers of the Elder Eye. They all look at each other. And, uh, this one steps forward, and he, you can see he places both hands on his, uh, spear. And this one steps forward as well, looking like they're getting ready. Uh, this one says in Cawthon he says who are you? we are fellow guardsmen we're here to relieve you of your duties of guarding Elar whispers over his shoulders in Oregar shut the door <laughs> and I'm just gonna straight up firebomb these fuckers Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all done talking. I'm all out of talking. Just is... shut the door. I wanted, just... I wanted to say hello, fellow guard. Okay. God damn <laughs> you it! Said, you you did. Know. You said they were replacements. We're your replacements. And then Lr yeah. decides. Now I've I've seen enough slavery and prostitution for one night. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Roll that in dish. Sorry. Hello, fellow. Not having a talking episode today. She did. She said we're hello, fellow guards. A hundred percent. I mean, when you have the opportunity to impersonate a guard, why not say hello, fellow guards? <laughs> <laughs> it's Satan Dogman, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is Satan Dogman, my dude. Um, Patriots. <laughs> is it Satan Dogman? It is. It's oh my god, it's Satan Dogman, my dudes. <laughs> yes. It is because it was. We were talking about the thirteenth, uh, right? It's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that the? Th oh, it is the thirteenth. It's the morning. Yeah. It's the early morning of the thirteenth. 
<laughs> That's just, funny. Just another Sindogden, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, LR, you get to go first. Yeah, I'm gonna pyrokinesis these two bar- two guards here. High guard oh, two and guard two. Yes. Oh, well, you know, uh, assuming it actually goes off. I will concentrate to give myself yes. a plus two. Fuck, you're using pyrokinesis again? God damn it! <laughs> you didn't tell me not to! I think we should totally, uh, I'll make, make another will check. check yeah. God damn, I'm gonna be, like, going bananas by the end of this fucking- I'm sorry, I don't know! No, I'm slipping down even further! <laughs> I'm now at Irrational. Okay, so I am, uh... Is it cool if, you, if I go ahead and roll, or, or you need Yeah, to yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm getting the, uh, the image out here, so... Oh, cool. I was, I'm glad to see the image. Oh, that's probably why. Jeez. This is not hexed. Yeah, put those hexes on. Yeah, we need that music. There we go. 2.5. Yeah, 2.5. Gonna hit them like that, I guess. Yeah. Try to. Boom. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna move, move it a hex back, or a hex towards me, because if there's anything on that bookshelf, I might want to look at that later and not catch it on fire. And also you trap them within it more. There we go. Is that cool? Yep. I love it. So I rolled a 23. Hopefully I hit these fuckers and they don't dodge it. It's a uh, mental defense, motherfuckers. You know, be rolling them 18, 19s, and 20s like you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bust out the action. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. All right, these guys have to defend with mental defense. Let's see if that works. And thanks to uh, Wanderer's cool sheet making skills, we got some of the uh, some of the macros for you guys. Or some of the cool, uh, what do you call it? Artwork roll, there roll for the templates. macros. Yeah, the roll templates. I didn't <laughs> use them on any of the uh, any of the NPCs yet, though. It hits both. Wait. What? That was not playing like? with these fools. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I would like to say so. It sort of starts in the middle, like this small, um, sort of fist-sized globe of fire, and then it expands out in this ring, and they're just incinerated by it. Just fucking ash falls to the ground. Hell yeah. And it LR is. leans heavily on his staff as though it took a lot out of him. Uh, and that's that's my turn. Hell yeah. All right. What does Emmy do? Um. Yeah, Inneth and uh, oh my god, uh, Inneth and same need to roll initiative as well. Oh uh, yeah. Also, make sure to mark that as probably your highest damage there, LR. Oh, you by far. You should get a saga yeah. from it because yeah. you got over a hundred. I get a saga for that. Yeah. Yes, instant yeah. saga. And then every time that you get over that, um, well, you do two oh one, you get another saga, and that's your new score to beat. Ah, okay. I will mm -hmm. make a note of that in my saga notes. Yeah, 200 your max damage. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. So, Emmy or same first? Go will... for it, Emmy. Okay. So, Emmy, of course, seeing this flaming sphere again, um, she's pretty taken aback by it. Uh, 
I think seeing it twice, kind of knowing now that LR is the, definitely the one doing it. Um, she's extremely upset by kind of this, this, just seeing them burn up and she gets flashbacks to what happened with Marty again. And just the, this entire day has been a horrible trigger for her. And at this point, she just wants to get to Peef. Um, there's nothing else that she wants at this point. She just wants to get to Peef and get home. Um, so she kind of just runs uh, and jumps off the edge here. And she can get about this far. I think he's just slightly out of range, yeah? I don't know if he's in a hat. Is he in a hex? I can't tell. He's kind of like... Because he's like here, isn't he? He's there? Oh, fuck yeah. Um, I'll spend one on Kata, of course. And I am just going to unload on this guy. Uh, so one on Kata. Let me see how many fucking... I have so many actions now. Um... Five, six, yeah, so five, six, seven. I think she'd burn the two frenzy um, for this. So I am going to unleash five, a six hit combo attack against this guy. That's some, mar that's some Mortal Kombat stuff right there. Mm -hmm. I have a minus Is two she to gonna hit. do an, like an acrobatics check or something over the- Oh yeah, I can totally do an acrobatics check. Uh, do, 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 do. She does have a minus two to everything, though. I think is it everything, or is it just certain things? I think it's if it's a mental uh, affliction. Mm. Yeah. I think you're only only your mental uh, skills and your oh, mental okay. role. Oh. Okay. Good. Nine. So I think she makes it over. Yeah. So yeah, she just jumps over. Um, and we'll start unleashing the fury on the sky. 16. He is probably like oh, just blown away by this huge thing of fire and then sees his compatriots <laughs> destroyed <laughs> in an instant and then a monk flying uh, off the ledge at him. Yeah. He's stumbling back. Yeah, oh, so Emmy is going to see how much damage she's going to do. Let's see. Oh, he didn't even use his shield. No. That's how, that's how flabbergasted he was. <laughs> is that your max? That is the highest that I've rolled. <laughs> yes. You get a saga as well. It's going to be everybody's max tonight. Oh, my God. So, Emmy just runs up to this guy, and you see just she just unleashes a, a flurry of punches towards you know, his chest, his face. Uh, just completely taking him down to the ground. Um, probably extremely overzealously uh, just just absolutely destroying this guy to the point of like zero recognition in just a few swift hits. Nice. Emmy's got like blades on her hands too, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she has blades on her arms, blades on her hands. Um, yeah, she's just a whole killing machine. Yeah, he gets like thrown back from the punches and her just her arms are now dripping in blood and she's like breathing hard at this point. Alright. Same um actually same uh I'm gonna take you guys out of this uh combat scenario right here. Same takes off running down here. Uh you guys can all move if you want to. Uh or RP. Yeah, Norigar was um, was if he could find it was going to aim to pick up some big vase or something. Does same look like she's she's running towards something or running away from us? Yeah, it looks like she's uh, she's trying to uh, take you guys uh, towards the dungeon. Uh, she's like, it's this way. Ah. Okay. So uh, yeah, Norigar doesn't throw it, at her, throw it at her. Yeah, he seems to have to restrain himself. He just had a, an urge when he saw her running. Was like, I knew it, and, uh, <laughs> but uh, he restrains himself. <laughs> yeah, the flames are consuming the table now, and uh, like just just burning all of the stuff. Um, you notice I that the 
Go ahead. You notice that there's a bench there as well with uh, like manacles and stuff like on it. Um, and it looks like quite a bit like more cautious right now. She's kind of crouching and uh, looking around as if, you know, a bunch of guards are about to pour into the room or something. Uh, same points towards that door. And uh, she says it's that way. Can I dismiss the, that circle of fire at will? Yes. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and dismiss that because um, you can see that, um, well, anyone that looks at that LR is now kind of taken aback at what he just did um, as if he himself can't believe what just happened. Um, And then, um, is everything like this desk that was that the guard two was standing at? Is it just incinerated and on fire as well? Yeah, so the, desk the fire's is just gone, out of control at this point, right? Yeah, it, it pretty much just destroyed everything in that circle there. Yeah. Um, is is Norgar still standing right there? Uh, yeah, he was kind of. You notice he was actually he he doesn't seem to be scared of much, but he really didn't like that flame. He didn't seem to have the same emotional kind of reaction to it, you know, uh, kind of recollection of trauma reaction that uh, Emmy had. But he uh, you could see he was really, really quite nervous around fire. Um, and uh, as soon as it uh, dissipates, he uh, breathes a sigh of relief. And then just moves forward slightly, um, and then motions for Elar to go ahead of him. Um, Elar, seeing that reaction, will look. Well, this look of shame will sort of cross his face, and he'll say, "I'll never hurt you." But can you open oh, the door? I know you wouldn't, Elar. It's just uh, fire's got a mind of its own, and well. It's the one thing we trolls fear. That's the reason that I learned it. Emmy's gonna kick down the door. She's not waiting. Oh, okay, I guess we're moving on. Emmy, <laughs> Emmy just, seems just your like role play. no. I wasn't trying to interrupt or anything. That's why. No, no, it's um, fine. But like Emmy, she's like no talking anymore. Um, the usual smile that's on her face is just faded at this point, and she's just pressing. Rogue, does this door here that we close, I mean, this is a door to a secret dungeon, right? Does it have, like, one of those big heavy bars that you can put into place? Uh, the front door? Yeah. Um, no. Uh, too bad. Okay. It does have a lock, though. I mean, you could lock it again. Because um, Ineth just picked that one. Uh. Same is uh, gonna follow you, Emmy. As as Emmy kind of walks, there's like a little um, speckled blood trail from her arms that kind of follows from the guard. And you see his face, um, his entire body is just smashed into a pulp. Peef, are you cool to come in right now? Yeah. Scene? Sure. Come okay. here. I'm queer, get used to it. <laughs> I want to know what happened to people. She was here for those few hours. What she kind of torture? Or yeah, what kind of dinner did she get? <laughs> yeah, that was so nice In flight movie. Maybe some margaritas. Yeah, we've been watching okay. Home Alone together. Got yeah. some popcorn. <laughs> we even put some Nestle Crunch in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Butter Maserati. Peef was healed. Um, I should put a view on so everybody can see. They healed the fool? No. Fortunately, not that. Bitch. They gotta heal you up to consciousness so they can torture you some more. Oh, okay. Peef. Everybody should have view on Peef, huh? Where's Peef? There she I is. Oh, Peef. Peef! I see her. There I am. Oh, Peef. 
I will do... Uh, do I have, like, oh. one HP, basically? I want to see real quick what they did to you. Oh, that should have exploded. Oh, oh it did. Uh, 13 plus uh, 1, 14, 14 times 8. Where did my little calculator go? 112. 112. So from negative 8 to 112, you were healed back. Oh, so that is max. Cool. I have 70 health. Alright, and I do want to say that um, uh, you've been down here with Madame Biez. Uh, she's an older looking woman. And kind of hunched over and uh, you notice that uh, she seems to enjoy being down here torturing people she's she's been very polite with you and stuff like that but just like sadistic and stuff and uh, uh, you do think that she's drugged you with something as well so I want you to make a body save I put all that micro right then. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Um, you keep having these strange hallucinations. Um, pretty much right now, you've been seeing, uh, uh, you know, faces come out of the wall and like uh, woodland faces. Like there's trees growing in here and you keep trying to use them you know I would imagine you'd probably try to anyway uh, to help you break out somehow you know uh, using your dryad powers and stuff uh, you've had a couple of hallucinations where your friends have busted in to get you out um, and she seems to you know relish this as well uh, they have she has an assistant with her who is an ogre and he's been down here chopping up people. Fun. And I will get him out there too. Um, so you do know that there is are some other uh, prisoners down here as well. Um, you do recall her questioning you um, or some questions being had she did ask a lot of questions and in your hallucinatory state uh, go ahead and make a willpower to see if you could uh, resist this uh, you're gonna have a minus two to the roll okay what do I need to roll just your willpower no but what's like like, what's the number? I'm what about to roll hers, hit? yeah. I'll roll hers real quick. Let's see what, what your target number is here. Oh, that's not bad at all. Eight. She's been asking you questions like, where do you come from? Why were you here spying on us? Hope I failed. Uh, and we can play that scene out real quick. Um, why were you here spying on us, little one? Because... Because I thought you guys, you stole. What was it, a finger or an eye? The eye, yeah. I thought you might have stolen an eye. And so I was trying to figure out if you had. Oh, so you were sent by Kalim the Red. Is this true? No. Kind of. Not really. Mm. 
do you have friends that will come and save you? Yeah. <laughs> no one's coming to save you, little one. I am afraid. You don't know my friends very well. Well, if they did... Look, there they are! <gasps> he turns around and she... You're right! Uh, and then as the hallucination, you know, she starts to laugh maniacally. Um, but she definitely realizes that the hallucinations are getting you and plays along with them. And uh, that's the type of like cruelty she does, uh, just playing with you and stuff. Um, brings you like some water, but it's just... Uh, it's, it's not really water, it's like the blood of somebody else. Uh, yeah, it's you can key. probably digest that. Yeah, you are a goblin. Um, I gotta take a quick bio break though. <laughs> if you guys, oh no, your rogue's gonna shit in your mouth. <laughs> gonna shit in my mouth. <laughs> if you guys wanna do uh, some RP, I'll be right back. <laughs> Not around that though. <laughs> you said he's gonna shit in my mouth. But me will never be a pirate, and then he's gonna shit in my mouth. I don't know what are LR and uh, Norg are doing. Let's yeah. walk. Um, so yeah, I guess we're at the back. We can have that conversation now. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, Norigar sort of, um, you know, clears his throat behind Elar as they're walking and goes, <clears throat> uh, "You, uh, you said that you, uh, you learned that spell because Troll didn't like it." Oh, so. I like um, I see why you thought that's what I meant when that's what I said but uh, let me try again one night I heard you I didn't mean I wasn't listening I wasn't eavesdropping I just heard you having a conversation with someone talking about how the fire it hurt you and to me you're the strongest most powerful most physically intimidating creature that I've ever made in my whole life. So, like, I thought the best way to protect myself was to find something that would hurt you. Not that I would want to hurt you, specifically, but something that would be so powerful and so dangerous that even someone as fearsome and strong and tough as you could be taken down by it, like. So, that's why I learned it. Not against trolls specifically, and certainly not against you, Norigar. You have my utmost respect. Norigar looks, um, first of all, relieved as he said it wasn't aimed at trolls specifically, and then uh, um, a little bit sort of embarrassed and uncomfortable, and says, so, 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 "Look, um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just big. Emmy's the, uh, <laughs> Emmy's the one that can punch through doors." <laughs> um, but look, I'm glad it wasn't aimed at trolls because I know that, well, most trolls do a lot of, a lot of bad things. And I was, I was worried trolls might have hurt you or your family. I'm, I'm glad that's not the case. No, I, you're the first troll I've ever met. So. If you hadn't told me that they were evil and awful, well, I just think they were all helpful and good, like you. No, thank you. I mean, I try. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't known that many trolls either, but I've heard the stories. I, I didn't grow up, grow up around trolls. I actually, uh, well, I've never really told Peef about it, but I, uh... I grew up enslaved by goblins. That's why I didn't know my family. But means I didn't really know what trolls are like, but I've 
spent a lot of time around humans and I've heard all the stories they tell about trolls, so I'm sure there's some truth to it. Why, well, Iman, there's some truth in all the stories, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think someday I'll have to find out. Go and uh, go back to the home of my people. And, uh, well, if they don't kill me on sight, I don't know. Maybe it's a stupid idea, but part of me wants to know what what are the trolls are like, you know? So, sometimes I like, I think about going home and asking them why they told me those stories I used to tell. So that's not the way the world is. But mostly I just think I don't ever want to go home be around those people. What people's that? Your family? By oh, Iman. Yeah, I didn't have the tender, loving upbringing like most. Looks like Except you and me got something in common then. I heard something once that I quite liked. This is from that same professor I was telling you about earlier. He said, friends are God's apology for family. No regard sort of mulls it over. You can almost see his mouth working as he works it. And he's sort of this. <laughs> yeah, I like it. All right. And Emmy next uh, same seems to be stepping you know staying back a little bit uh, frightened frightened of what is up ahead uh, she says uh, that way uh, this way the other door there good and she just continues Yeah, once you get to uh, that door, it, it's open, and then there's this lever here uh, with this uh, a gate there, uh, just bars, metal bars. You can see some kind of uh, it looks like a you know toilets lined up in here and uh, drains on the floor. Really rank place where uh, maybe like a bathhouse or a shower or something. Uh, the lever uh, seems to uh, open this door here. Is that what uh, would you pull that when you get there? Oh, like or? right here, that leather, le yeah. uh, lever. Yeah, if it opens this door, yeah, she'll she'll yank, she'll crank on it. And sure enough, it is not trapped. It opens up the uh, the gate. Is this a door here, Rogue? It is. And this one here as well? It is. Um, do they have any kind of locks or latches or? Um, they they have handles on them, almost like the one to get in here. Uh, these doors seem to be uh, made of, uh, like reinforced with uh, plates, you know, iron plates. Okay. Very tough doors. And um, so does it look like they're intended to keep people in this room from getting into them or from something on the other side from getting into this room? Like, or both? And perhaps both. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's there's a couple of chairs at these at this table here. Mm -hmm. LR's going to do the thing where you take a chair and you wedge it up under the door handle. Okay. Both of these doors. Okay, cool. So... Okay, put me a little sure gets, wait, wait for no get to get through yeah and if this uh, following behind the rear unless you want to uh, take the rear 
Uh, no, it's fine. Actually, um, Norigard may as well actually just walk with you guys now, because I guess we've let loose spells and stuff and we're underground. So. Um, when uh, Norigard comes into the room and LR's wedging chairs under these two doors here, I'm going to put a... Is it okay if I mark a little squiggle? Yeah. Um, LR will ask... Um, no, say to Norgar um, do we block the way behind us or do we leave it open in case we have to leave in a hurry um, Norgar sort of looks and goes, oh yeah I mean um, yeah it's uh, a good question uh, and he looks really perplexed for a second and then he uh, his, his expression clears a bit and he says what do you think? Better leave it open, just in case. Right, yeah, let's do that. Hopefully Emmy doesn't get too far ahead and doesn't get murdered. <laughs> are these just like bars that are blocking the way? Or are they, is it like open? Yeah, they seem to be uh, blocking the way, but, um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but, uh, you can open them. Yeah, so Emmy will just, uh, kind of open, swing open the doors and continue on. I'm guessing she sees the, uh, the people eating here. Yeah, you can see some playing cards at the table here. We'll put two, like, here. Um... If you're not trying to sneak, yeah, they would definitely see you. Yeah, she's got the uh, the cloak on and everything. Um, I'll wait okay. for Norgard to like move like maybe a little bit up because he's slow and I don't want him to get too far out in case yeah, combat yeah. starts. Um, but Emmy kind of looks. <sighs> she looks at the buyers, puts her hands on some of the rungs, and says, you "Looking for another player." Uh, they both look toward you, and uh, uh, one of them sits back nonchalantly, and uh, he says, sure, come on in. Why don't you and, come uh, over here? He gets up. He says, is the gate locked? I'm struggling with it a bit. And uh, he looks over to the this other one, heavily armored guard here. And he says, tell me the key. And the guy doesn't seem to uh, to mind at all uh, at first. He gets up and uh, he's about to throw him the key over there. Uh, but he says, who's this? Is the door actually open? Or the lock. You can, you can uh, make a uh, a d6 roll, and you can call it. High or low? Yeah. I'm gonna call low. Fuck, it's locked. Yeah, you try it, and you can tell that it's locked. Yeah, she uh, she says, new guard, part of a new rotation. And make a charisma check. <laughs> Um. You got the pretty. What? Oh. oh yeah, I have a minus two right now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she, they can probably <laughs> see like the blood dripping from her, like her arms and shit. She does not look like she belongs here. Isn't that Steve's blood? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Steve! Isn't that part of Steve's face? <sighs> Steve had green blood. Wait, um, do you? <laughs> Do you have the uh, the pretty bonus or anything um, like that? I have at least a plus one. Because um, oh, he rolled such crap. Yeah, right I have funny. And That's, that gives you another plus one, doesn't it? It gives me plus two in, like, when I'm trying to be funny. But I don't uh, think I'm just trying to be funny right now. Is this guy no. close enough for her to grab? Um... Shh. 
No. Uh. But I don't know. Well, I mean, it it it, it, it is a gate, so it's pretty tough. Um, uh, he says uh, he doesn't seem to be buying uh, buying it. The whole new guard thing. He's like, uh, where's your papers? I got them here. They're a bit, uh, stuck in my cloak. You want to grab them for me? He squints his eyes. He starts to come over. Yeah, immediately when he comes over, she's just going to grab him by the neck and just try to yank him through, roughly. (laughs) All right, cool. Go for it. (laughs) Get that key and kill this man. Um... And we can just start you you off as initiative. Yeah. And everybody else can do it. Oh my god. Emmy is not having a good time. Oh no. She tries to grab his like whiff. He backs up just far enough. What a dick. Oh yeah, he backs away. What do you want to do? <laughs> She frowns, says, aren't you curious as to how I got inside? He sees the blood on you now, and uh, uh, and he shouts for the others. He says, it looks like we got an intruder in here. And uh, the other guys start to get up. This one over here has a crossbow, and uh, he starts to bust out his crossbow. What's everybody else doing at this point? As soon as he hears that shout, um, Noragar uh, says, Right, sounds like it's time. And uh, he starts walking forward, and as he does, does so, he's unlimbering his shield and uh, drawing his sword. Um, LR will come around the corner, and is this area as, as he sees it? Yeah. This gate here is open. Uh, This one right here is locked. Okay. Um, Oh, I picked up Gar by mistake. Mark, I'm going to move you for a second so I can grab Toko. Sorry. Sure. Put you back. Um, Real quickly, do I think Toko could fit through those bars? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Everybody want to do a niche? Let's do oh, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bad time. Alright. Peef would hear this. Peef would hear the shouting. Yeah, Peef could do a Nish. Mm-hmm. Also, Inathia and same. Don't forget them. Oh my god. Everybody's good? Yep. Madam Baez. <laughs> bitch all right she turns around and actually starts to go for this way and she's pretty slow so she gets over to here she says what is going on Hallam go check and Hallam indeed does he picks up his big cleaver Or his big mace, whatever he has here. He can only get right there. First guard.
He's got a long sword and a long bow. We're gonna say he runs over to to get his long bow. Snags it off the table for an action. Grabs an arrow. Burns too frenzied to do a dead eye shot at Emmy. Oof. I'll give you uh, an extra plus one cover. Oh my god. Not great. He could still miss. Mm mm. He yeah. ain't missing me. He could roll shitty damage. Remember that time Norgar got crit and he rolled snake eyes? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Some action music. Oh. Oh shit. That hurts. Um. So forty six goes. Forty eight goes to forty thirty two. Um. So it's thirty two. So I can spend my ability that I have. Uh. Let's see. Wait, once for combat. Uh, no, she's not gonna do that. Um. Do 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 do. Spiritual touch tank. I think it's discipline. No, not discipline. Mine. Chi guard. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So two d six. Then I get ten. So eight chi drain. Do do do. Where's my fucking character? Okay. Minus eight, and then that would be forty. So it's thirty-two. So twenty-two. So she falls down. Uh, she only takes twenty-two damage. All right. Um, same uh, looks to you guys, and uh, she says, "There's another way in around the other side. Should I should I go for the door on the other side?" She looks to LR and Norgar for this. Norgar LR looks will. To LR. <laughs> LR will say, "I, I take Anathia with you." All right. Peef's turn, but what can Peef do? Peef hear all this going on in the next room. Yeah, you can hear some shouting. Peep is gonna say, "My my friends are here." I think she said this like a few times over the past few hours, though. Yeah. And uh, Madame Baez probably looks at you a little more concerned this time, though. Lr, what are you gonna do? Okay. Um. A couple of things. Did you see that whisper that I sent you? Oh. Yes. I'm gonna do that. That's a cool idea. Cause um that can appear on the other side of the gate, right? It can. Yeah. So why don't we put it right here behind this boy? Well I guess that's I a that's a summoning, right? Yep. Where'd you want to put that? Right behind this guard. I guess I should roll to make sure it goes off. Um, I will spend an action to concentrate, and then two actions to complete the spell, and then two frenzy. So a total of a total of four actions. So. And um, it's willpower in inches or willpower in hexes. Yep. So I have a. Uh, I can do up to 24 hexes. There should be plenty of room. Alright, roll the spell. What does it look like as you summon this geist? Yeah, so, um. This. You hear sort of this shrieking sound, um, of, you know, wailing of souls that, uh, are lost. And, um,. Uh, this sort of rift in the air appears behind this guard and um, one of the souls from purgatory steps through and uh, let's see odd was a soul that was 
damned and even it's a soul that's going to eventually find salvation. No, it is a soul that will eventually find salvation. So, um, yeah, so it's a gray spirit, but it's sort of a light gray with sort of wisps of sort of white energy trailing around it. And it doesn't look horrif horrifying. It looks um, somewhere halfway between a, a human and an angel. All right. And it can it can go next time, uh, your next round. So it appears this one. I'm good. All Not right. Turn. And it looks to both you guys like um. You you want me to go with her? Why? I guess I should. I don't trust her. Be careful. Yeah, and it takes off with their knives out. Crossbow guard. Oh. Yo. Everybody, everybody's trying to kill uh, <sighs> Emmy here. Net zero since I'm on the ground, but I have blockage. At least. Hey, teen. Please miss. This is a light crossbow. And aimed for a dead eye. Fires. Oof. Miss. Nice. Thank the maker. And crossbows suck for reloading, so he starts that great capacity, that great uh, quest, reloading his crossbow. Guard three. He has a man catcher. Ooh. He is going to charge up here and try to. Catch him a man. I am no man. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have the plus one from blockage as well? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Net zero. Ah, oh, you got it. Ooh. Ah, oh, no. Just gonna try to heavy attack you. Ah, oh, damn it. I yeah. get one away. I know. I can't do anything about that, though. Don't you have the thing where you can add a mm -mm. plus one? That's only two attacks. I do have something that I can, like, reroll defense, but I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. Okay. Uh, the man catcher. That sucks. Maybe I should do it on this one. <laughs> nah, nah. Oh my god, that could have been so terrible. Oh no. Yeah, Jesus, that could have been. Oh no, thanks. Alright, so 32, 22, 16. Yeah, because half 16, 16, yeah. Alright, so she takes 16 damage. Yeah, so what it does is like it goes around the neck. Uh, um, actually. Since he didn't call shot it, I'm gonna roll a hit location. Okay. Mm -hmm. My leg. Oh no, that's my in that's my fucking scarred up leg. That dick. Oh uh, no. So it's like a like a half hoop, and it's got spikes on the inside. So he kind of closes around it. It counts as you being held. Um, it is now Norgar's turn. Yeah, I don't think Norgar's gonna be able to do very. a rock at the door <laughs> I have every confidence that Norgar can tear that gate off his hinges yeah you've got some you've got some reach too if you uh I mean you could reach the gate if, if you need to
Are you muted? Wonder? Wonder! Oh no! What happened? Did we lose him? Oh no! Oh yeah. Oh my shoes. Oh, oh! I saw something. Any good? Yeah! Any good? Yep. yeah uh, okay. If in doubt, unplug it and plug it in again. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Noragar comes around the corner at, um, and kind of lumbers into a charge. Um, I'm hoping I can use charge for this. And um, he kind of builds up as much momentum as he can, yelling at Emmy to get clear of the gate. And then uh, he's just going to put his shoulder down. And he's got like he's got armored pauldrons on. Uh, so he just tries to s hit the door with his pauldrons. And, nice. uh, and just try to bust the door open. Hell yeah. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, go ahead and uh, just make a strength check. And as he goes, by the way, he's he's yelling louder and louder. He's kind of seems to be building up his rage as he runs. And uh, as he hits the door at the gate, um, he uh, he yells, "Judgment is coming!" Or you could do damage to it if you're trying to like. Uh, what do we heavy want? attack it? Or yeah, how how's it I'll gonna work? I'll leave it up to you. If you want to do a strength check, you can do that. Or if you can heavy attack, if you want to heavy attack it, you can do that. Um, with your armored spikes, you said you had. No, um, not spikes. Uh, he's just got he's just got um, metal pauldrons. So I'm just saying it'll just protect, oh, protect okay, your okay, shoulder. Yeah. Um, so I, th I guess it's got to be a strength check. Yeah, do strength check. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did he get any bonus from his charge? Yeah, give him a give him a plus three. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So we'll say you uh, definitely bust the lock off of this door and it swings open. And now, uh, yeah, uh, if he can, um, Norgo's got four actions around now. So if he's got any actions left, he's going to attack the guard next to him. Yeah. I'll say uh, that was one, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a heavy attack. I guess uh, um, I've got I've got quick draw on my. Um, what have I got? Uh, where is it? In quick blade. Uh, quick blade. Quick blade. So uh, I use my quick blade to draw for free. And I'm going to attack him with my sword. Action two. Which one are you oh. going at? This guy here? Oh, it's coming out blank. Uh oh. Got, uh, let me uh, let me just try it from the sheet. Oh no! Was that uh from the sheet? No, that was that's from the right Um, actually, there we go. There we go. Build against the guard. That's this one here. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't think he can reach the Templar, can he? Yeah, so the one, that's the one that's holding on me. Yeah, yeah that oh, one. definitely then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in fact, can I call shot and just try and break his weapon? He's got yeah, if you it. want to. Yeah, as long as it went like, badly in Jeremy. Um, I, I just want to see if I can bring down my sword on the sort of wooden shaft of that weapon and break it. And since he's got her, uh, oh, that's minus four to whatever he rolls. Oh. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, can Emmy help out with that? I only can give you a plus one. Oh, so that'll be yeah, matching. The draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so he moves okay. to the side. Yeah. And I've got one more attack. So this time I'll just do a quick attack on him. Um. This is at him. He is going to let go so that he can totally try to dodge without suffering the Ooh. minus four. Ooh. Uh -huh. And he still gets hit. Okay. 
So he lets go of that man catcher. It just it it falls. Nice. It's still around your leg there, Emmy. But minus one. Okay. And twenty-one. All right. Twenty-one for up. a single action. That's nice. Yeah, I've got that D6 bonus damage now, which yes. really helps. It's a pretty good weapon. And that's him done. And then Norigida sways back slightly and grins to Emmy. All right. To say, go get him. All right, it's mm -hmm. Emmy's turn. So the man catcher is still like uh, around her leg, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you could take an action to take it off. Yeah, she takes an action, uh, and you can hear kind of a groan as she uh, kind of rips it to open a bit and shoves it off her leg. Um, acrobatics to jump back up to her feet, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Am I the only one not hearing music? Is that just me? Hear I don't think. Okay, good. Not just me. I hear nothing. Eight. So she springs back to her feet, maybe a bit stumbling a bit on the one leg that had uh, the men catch her around it. And she uses the bar to kind of swing around um, on this guy. Uh, yeah, actually. Heavy attack on. Uh, use one action. So I've used two actions so far one on Kata, one on taking the. Uh, the weapon off. Um, I'm going to use two more actions to swing this guard and try to tidal wave him beside the Templar. Is he on the ground already? <laughs> no, he's actually still standing. Oh shit, he's a- oh, because he's a tav. Mm. Armor, yeah. Bitch. Alright, so I'm just going to do tidal wave. Um, mm. Yeah, we'll just- yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll just do tidal wave for now. I gotta double check really quick my abilities, my talents. Mm. Okay, to hack attack. Uh. So with hack, they have to be adjacent to each other, right? Or is it just to me? Yeah, to each other. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll do a heavy... T yeah, I'll do like the full Burning Strike Tidal Wave Chi Strike uh, against this guy, trying to move him over beside this <laughs> guy um, okay. for two actions. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god, that's I might crit. just kill him. That's nice. <laughs> that might just kill him. A Damn, 28 Chi. Die, bitch. I don't care. Bitch caught me with a man catcher. Yeah. I said I am no man. Um. So damage. <laughs> so this is gonna be times four. Yeah. Together. I'm glad I did the fucking big, the fucking whole yard. 152 damage. Is that He's all? Dead. So <laughs> I would say Emmy takes this guy and she's thinking about slamming him next to the Templar to get them both next time. But instead, she takes him and like she grabs the back of his head and she um, very much like uh, kind of a meat processor or like ground meat getting shoved through like a small grate. She just pushes this guy through the bars and he <laughs> just gets completely <laughs> eviscerated. And then she <laughs> and then she turns around and I'm gonna spend two frenzy. Uh, mm, I'm gonna spend two frenzy. She's mad. Yeah, I'm gonna spend two frenzy. Um, with the Templars, I've spent two, four, five, six, seven, three hit combo against the Templar. She's gonna kung lao the Templar right here. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. She's oh, yeah. Emmy, like, is pissed at this point. Um, she is furious. He tries to throw his shield up, but he doesn't. He get tries. It up. He tries, but he fails miserably. 102 damage. Nice. He has 17 armor. All right. He's still alive, but he's on the ground. Yeah. And also, as a note, he has. Uh, he's going to take pain damage next round. Start taking oh, pain awesome. damage. Yeah. So Emmy, uh, how far? How far is Nor? How far can Norgar move? 
I would know. Um, yeah, Six? not by far. Yeah. Uh, about four, I guess. Yeah. Six with charge, right? Oh, six with charge, yeah. Mm hmm. And he kind of looks at Norgar and she says, I got this guy. Norgar nods and uh, starts looking across at this guy. And there's also that, you know, spooky guy spirit there, so, you know. What in the Oak Father is that? Templar. Yeah. Um, yeah, Nor Norgar's. A little bit disturbed by that, but since it looks vaguely angelic, he he's he seems to have been seems to have kind of convinced himself to be okay with it, grudgingly. Fucking the Templar stands back up, and he is going to try and Morning Star. Okay, he is going to try to Morning Star. Uh, hack at... Oh, no. You're still behind the bars, aren't you, uh, uh, Norgar? Yes, I am, yeah. Uh, so he's just going to heavy attack at Emmy. Or three-hit combo. That's what he's going to do. Three-hit combo. For sure. Spinning his morning gets. star. Around. Can I do shield our life from here? <gasps> oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I will spend one saga point, and um, you get a plus three to your defense. Ooh, I love it. I mm, let me choose the highest roll. Oh, in fact, hold on, you get more than that because you oh. also get. Um, three. I've got defender, so you get an extra plus one. So, so four. four. Plus four. And then nice. I get f it's five in total for my kata as well. So sweet. Twenty three. Hell yeah. Emmy easily tumbles out of the way of this morning star. She it says, Madam, uh, she looks at the Templar and says, "Got a bit of a tightness in your chest there. Don't worry about it." <laughs> You're so old and slow. <laughs> yeah, Madame Baez, he uh, starts to cast a spell. I'm just going to roll a d20 on this one here. One! One! Ah. She split images herself. All right. Hallam. Go get them, you slow oaf. And then you hear Hallam coming and he slams open, yelling. Oh, this guard here with the longbow. Poor Emmy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm really regretting not splitting imaging everybody like I usually do. It's alright, it's alright. Don't even worry about it. Amazing time. I'm getting shot well, at. Happens pretty right. fast. I'm gonna say one, two, three, Emmy, four, five, six. Uh uh, yeah. Emmy, Emmy. Okay. Yeah. Uh okay. Roll I'm going attack. to do the same again. I'll burn oh. another saga. And oh uh, I'll also shield you against you plus four. Plus four, plus five, minus one, because I'm already engaged. So I'm at a plus four. Um, so what uh, I'm going to do, I have an ability for this, actually. Um, I'm going to roll, I have to roll an acrobatics check. I need to pump up my acrobatics more. Um, it's called battle roll. So I, let's see, once per combat, I have to make uh, acrobatics check target 15. Um... If I do, then I can roll 2d20 to defend. Oh, nice. And oh, come on, get it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this because my acrobatics isn't actually that high, but I'll believe in nothing. Um, <laughs> you want to pray? Uh, I'm going to roll my defense first. Uh, okay. So I have a plus four. I'm going to pray because that's <sighs> fucking bad. Oh. <sighs> Oh no! Oh, Emmy. Is it? No, it's not that one. Is it the candle? 
No, that's a torch. What? Where? There's no. I have no Jesus. That's a whisper. Do, Jesus is not with me currently. I don't see the star. Oh, it's SI. Oh, I changed it to SI. Change to C. Uh, I'll just roll it from my sheet. It's fine. Oh, they Father, be with me. Eh. <sighs> no, I failed that. This is going to be a hurdy. <sighs> Times four. Big ouchie. You haven't used tank yet, have you? Have not. Thank God. Oh, good, 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 good. These guys are nasty oh. archers. In the thought, these, not even these are the archers it. that got they got peef. Oh, oh no, oh, they're no. gonna get me too. Except they're gonna kill Sorry, me. Sorry, I tried. It's okay. They have it. Ah, no problem. That was trash. Nice. Okay, so nice. I have no armor. Um, I'm just gonna use tank. Yeah. So, oh my god. Okay, so the guy fires his arrow and it's like about to meet his mark and Emmy looks like she uh is like going off balance, but instead she does like a spin kick and she just kicks the arrow um <laughs> into the Hell wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Done. Nice. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry because she doesn't dodge it. It shatters on her abs. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. All right. Same. Same. Same as taking the long journey around the here. Long rest. She moves the uh, the fucking uh, this chair out of the way. And yep. Look at this. Boop. You guys don't have view on NFI, yet, right? No, there's yeah. we have no idea what she's doing back there. They can they can mm. sneak. Okay. It's fine. Anathia is almost there. Anathia, please, I need you. All right, and Peef once oh. again. Is all of Peef's stuff was taken, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think Peef just gonna walk up to the bars and kind of like look out and look around. Yeah, there's um I'm not expecting to find anything, but that's what she's doing. Yeah. I was looking for one of those chests, but apparently it's not in this room. Um yeah, all you can see is the gore where they chopped up the person, uh some oubliette down here, where they definitely have somebody else. You don't know if there's anybody in the cells next to you. There's a cell to your right and a cell to your left, but uh there are some items on the table over here but most of them are for like torture devices so i mean i guess if you uh, worst comes to worst you can grab one of those weird question mm -hmm. so the cell is locked i presume mm -hmm. could peef tear off a piece of bark from her skin and use that to try to pick the lock I love it. Let's do it. Okay. Just a small peef. Get a little small peef. Target number is going to be uh, 2d8. One damage. Big out. Five. Hey, it was a crappy lock. Okay, well, I don't have lock picking, so I just have to roll decks. You got this. I was thinking even you could, like, use your, 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 your vines, you know? Ooh. And, uh, and, but like, do they not work? Through. <laughs> the city. Yeah, she's she's like. Yeah, they oh, don't work she's... apparently. Ooh, did she I get rolled it? a five. Did she get it? All right, we'll say it's starting to unlock here. Um, yeah, I was thinking like your bark starting to, uh, uh, you know what I mean, like move like uh, vines almost and move into the uh, into the lock. But uh, cool. Ella, Ella, what are you gonna do? Okay, um, does the Geist go on my turn? He does. Alright, so can we do it first, if that's cool? It's yeah, gonna move yeah. straight to Longbow Guard and munch him. Uh, and then, I'm sure you probably have the stats memorized, but, uh, this, this Geist is, um, level 11 or 12. Uh, has a ridiculous amount of HP. Uh, it looks like it has only plus 2 to hit and da defense, though, right? Um, 
Where did you get the stats from the guys? Um, it is from uh, page 281 in the main book. It's just the spirit conjuring table because um, if you look at the brown spells, it says um, uh, considered a lesser power to spirit. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And what was its hit points? 200 plus 2d20. Okay. Go ahead and roll the 2d20. Uh, you got it. And then it shows you what its plus to hit is, right? Yes. And its, da and its damage? Yes. Oh, it doesn't say... Uh, yeah, it says damage, but it says uh, number of attacks 3 and then 5 in parentheses. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it can burn 2 frenzy and do a 5-hit a combo. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. That sounds fun. So it's gonna five hit combo this guy. Yeah. I'll well, see it uses his two friends. it's got only two frenzy left, but um and what's its plus to hit? It's only plus two. Plus two to hit, plus two to defense. Okay, yeah, that's right then. Um let me make sure this is right, and then we're good to go. Yeah, it's two D six damage. Uh D eight D six. D eight D six, okay. So this is D eight. Did I give you control over it? You don't have control over it, do you? No, that's okay, though. I'll give you control over it, so you can roll for it and all that stuff. Oh. So what was its hit points? Uh, 214. 214. All right. And he is ready to go. I'm going to give you control it so that you can roll for him. Okay. There we go. And you're going to do uh you can do an unarmed attacks. Okay. Armor that. And I'm going to spend five action points. Sorry. 12 to hit. This guy, he's been shooting over there, turns just at uh, the last minute and uh, and dodges as it rips into the table next to him. Great. So, uh, LR will say, uh, um, I brought a friend. And then uh, I will spend uh, my first magical action to cast Split Image on Emmy. Yeah. And then uh, I will spend a second magical action to cast Split Image on Norigar. No, oh, thank and you. And then I will spend a third magical action to cast Split Image on myself. Just in case. No, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do a second one on Emmy. Ah, stack mm. those images. <laughs> nice. And uh, that is going to be. Oh, um, and then I'm going to uh, uh, ask Toko to go find Inathia, make sure she's okay. All right, that's the telepathic command. And Toko goes running off, hopefully not to get murdered. Um, and then I'll move a little bit. Let's see. Cancel. I love that you got view on him too. That's great. Oh no, my view's gone of him. Where'd he go? Is it? Yeah. I have yeah, no my view's gone of him as well. What the hell? Her. God damn it. It's probably a new token. Oh yeah, yeah when you copy paste it or whatever, yeah. I'll get it back. Mama -ma monkey vision. And that's my turn. Alright. Not a bad turn. Oh, alright. Um, I think I asked you this once before, but I have an item that lets me um, regen mana. It, co it costs one magic action to use it, yes? Um, sorry, what, what was it? I have an awakened stone that lets me, it's an awakened jasper, it lets me regen mana once per oh, day. Those are two, two actions to activate, yeah. Two, okay. I, I'm just going to put that in my notes. Yeah, my turn's over. 
right. It is Ineth who is continuing to run. She hits the lever here for an action. Comes in through the door. She sees the meat crayon that is this guard. <laughs> 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 I've never heard that phrase before, and I hope I never do again. <laughs> and it's going to go into stealth, actually, right over here. Chababe. All right, guard. Board. Right, it takes four actions, and he's reloading. Now he can fire. With his frenzy. Friends to frenzy. He is going to fire. Um you want high or low, Emmy? Um, I would like one two, please. Alright. That is Emmy. <sighs> Fuck, it's me! No! Of course. Stop it! Dead eye shot, he picked the right one. Ow! I'm gonna kick this bitch away. There's three of them. <laughs> this is gonna be out of hand. No, there are three of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck this Oh game. no! Oh, oh that would even be wait. less because I'm still- I'm engaged, so it'd be 14. Wait. But wait, uh, Norgar gives you plus one, right? Does he? Yes, it's still, he does. It doesn't work though, because I'm engaged right now with the Templar, so I'd have a minus one anyway. Well, I can. It's okay. I'll, I'll spend my last spare saga point, and I will Aww. shield you. Noragar manages to throw up his shield in front of you. Oh, just you wrap your arms around Emmy and block. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, <laughs> we're besties. Meat crayon is Go. dead. Meat crayon. <laughs> He doesn't want to delete. There he goes. All right, Norgar's turn. Crush Norgar. Okay, yeah. So, um, Norgar, um, Move up. I guess he doesn't really realize that the troll's coming through yet, so he's going to charge at this guy. Um, and, uh, I guess, I suppose he can get. And, uh, he is going to try and hit him with a heavy attack. He looks very afraid as you start to come up there. And he should be. Because he just got hit. Okay. He only uh, has five armor. And this is a heavy attack, right? Yep, power two. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and the music. What's that look like? She oh. killed that guy. Oh yeah, so Norogar kind of lumbers through and then builds into a kind of heavy run. Um, and he, uh, as he comes in, he has kind of got his shield in front of him and his arms right back. And he just brings the, um, the heavy orcish sword down with all that power of the charge. And he just cleaves straight through the guy's helmet and uh, splits his head in half. <laughs> and then kind of like kicks him off the, uh, kicks him away, sh uh, shakes the blood off the sword. And I guess he hasn't... Can he reach this chair? Yeah, or this guy's body. <laughs> yeah. Throw the okay. corpse! Yes, he does. He picks him up by the leg and throws him at this guy. <laughs> lob, lob. You know that scene in uh, the original Silent Hill movie where <laughs> Pyramid Head just comes up with that woman and like... <laughs> rips off her skin and throws it at the door. It's like that, except with the whole body. And it's not a door, it's a person. Unfortunately, the guard is not very aerodynamic. So. <laughs> hey, the guy's engaged. He might, you know, get the... Yes. Damn it! Ah. Worth it for the morale effect. Flies back Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. 
Emmy's turn. All right. Uh, so that guy immediately takes three d six damage. Pain. Oh, he takes only pain. eight. Eight pain damage that goes through armor, uh, and then he makes a body save. Is that on the next time? No, it's right now. Because at least one always goes through. Roll a d20 here. I took away the body save for... Oh, that son of a ah. bitch! Well, he made, he's, hopefully that's his 20. Um, that's okay, because I will do spend one for Kata, and then I will do a three-hit combo. With all my stuff. Bam, 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 bam! Woo! Ba, 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 ba! Wait, where's the planet twice? Did it? I don't hear it. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. So she strikes into him three times real quick. And let's see. Times three, 156 damage. And he is dead. Yeah, so she just uh, punches him um, twice in the legs and then once with like her palm against his chest and he goes flying and it goes through his armor and it shatters and he goes skidding across the room. Um, I'm gonna make a perception check to see if she sees the uh, to sees Hallam. Okay. Five. I mean, is he? Obvious? I mean, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to. You. Uh, he did like slam open the door and yell. So. Ooh. Okay. Time to bound over there. Boop boop boop. Um, and then I will spend two frenzy, and do another three hit combo. Sweet. So many actions. He's insane. I have seven actions in total. <laughs> I am a blender. Sixteen. So you have five as a base, and then two mm -hmm. for frenzy. Mm -hmm. He's OP. Yep. Definitely OP. Don't nerf me though. <laughs> she I freaking OP rolled those. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled those fucking master. Those talents, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't get OP or, or uh, nerfed. Yeah, nerf at me. <laughs> I, would never, I would never roll that extra action. It'd be fucking four more levels or five more levels. Yeah. Before I, I actually got it. I've had three rolls on the chart and haven't hit it yet. 213. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Nice. That is... What's his armor? Uh, 17. 17. Okay. He can feel pain, correct? Yes, indeed. Cool. Oh my god, he's still in the green. Fuck. Nope, he's not. Oh. He's severely oh, in the red. Fantastic. Okay. So he goes down to the ground. Actually, can I, like, pick him up and throw him over top of me into this room? Um, what is it's your strength? tidal wave? Um, my strength is only like 17 or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's 18. 170. No, you can't pick this guy up though. Okay, then um, I will... Wait! Hmm? Well, it is a throw. Yeah, yeah. if you want to throw it, like just... Yeah, so she like trips him wow. kind of and just wha-bam, just slams him right into the ground uh, back first. You can hear like a bit of a spinal crunch. I would say with one of her hits, she takes off one of his tusks. Nice. Just flies into yeah. the table. Mm -hmm. Slobber and blood flies everywhere. And it is Madame Baez. She sees this horrible monk uh, in the doorway. She says, ah, ah look little one, your friends did come. Uh, she's gonna uh, concentrate an acid orb at you. Bitch. Alright, I have caught up at least. So I have a plus one! Doesn't do anything. Oh, please hit a split image. Come on! Oh, yeah! Uh, okay, let me roll a d6. 
I am one two. Okay. Hits an image. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, All nice. over the image. Oh, thank you, Elar. Elar. That's my Good job. job. Good job. Elar. <laughs> MVP. Takes one of the images out and just burns it. She's like, ah. Hmm. Uh, she is going to throw another one. It's no. And concentrate again. She needs to stop. Uh, oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, pray. So I'm rolling a d6. I'm one, two, three. <sighs> Fuck! No! I have nothing else to block this. Oh shit, this is so bad. This is so bad. This can you do that acrobatic? Thing? I can't. I only can do it once. Oh my god, I might actually be dead. I have nothing else to defend. Oh, oh fuck. What have I got? You're too far away for me to shield you. You're too far away for my defender. Arg. Oh shit. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Okay, now as bad as I thought. We're okay. Oof. We got this. We have no armor, but we do have three, so it's gonna be 77. Oh. Oh. Oh man, that could have been Damn. so much worse. Wait, uh, it's an acid orb. Uh, let me just, let me just. What kind of damage does this count as? It eats your armor, whatever armor it hit to. Um, what toxic kind of... resistance. Eh, Any I armor? Take less, baby. I have lots of armor. Um, I take less damage actually because I have toxic resistance. Ten. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so your left arm loses. Um. Here. Three armor rating. Here, 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 here. So my left arm bracers. Ooh, loses three. So I have like half my bracers left. Oh crap! So I'm down to two th or one AC one then. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, my new ruin. Oh. Hallam. Uh, oh he. He stands up and, uh... Oh, God. Norgar will be snarling at him. Mm -hmm. He's right there He's on the ground. Trying to goad him as much as he can. I can't actually do an action <sighs> to, do it, to do it in game time. Oh, you have Narrative to do that on your turn, huh? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invitation would have to be on my turn, I think. Um... um he's going to, uh, Blood Rage. Uh, use the ability Blood Rage. Which uh, grants more hit points. Let's see. Plus twenty, plus two to his strength. Um, actually, he can't do that because he, he got hit with a burning strike, and uh, he can't regenerate because he got hit with fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it counted as fire. Yeah. He's not actually a troll, he's the bog troll one. Ah. He's just an ogre. Not a cool troll like Norgar. Ah. But same, they're cousins, they're close cousins. Fuck you, cousin! Um, hey, Nico, get some cousins cousin. is what we call them where I'm from. Uh, no, he's got an <laughs> iron flail. Uh, he's gonna try to unload. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's do a heavy attack at Emmy. Okay. Minus one, net zero, Kazakata. Oh, I got hip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, 50 50. Okay, 50 so 50. I'm one to three. I swear to god. I five. Oh, okay. thank god. Oh, he, he smashes the image. <sighs> The well, you, you, you've saved Emmy's life today. You huh? did. You seriously did. <laughs> so Emmy's like kind of lets out a bit of a yelp, I would say. Maybe more of a scream from the burning acid on her skin. And then they, uh, the morning star just slams down onto her image and it bursts. <sighs> and then he's got one more. Mm -hmm. Burns to frenzy. Tries to smash the other one. Rawr. Fifteen. Okay. Please dodge, please dodge, please dodge. Yes! <gasps> Fuck nice. you! Oh, yeah, she just God. rolls barely out of the way, like the ground shatters underneath her. Uh, this guy drops his bow. 
uh, draws his sword for an action. Uh, and then burns his two frenzy to do a three hit combo at the Geist. Okay. I'm guessing the Geist has only a dodge. Yeah, just dodge. Okay. That tie goes okay. to the fender. Ah, so he slips and he falls to the ground. <laughs> you can you can elaborate on how the geist made him do that, I guess, but in eternity we will be together. Knocks over part of the table and stuff. Um, same. Same is coming down the hallway, and she gets to there. Actually, she's got two more over there. Oh. Peef, the door unlocks. Great. Yay, Peef. Um, what sort of stuff are on these tables? Um, you got like manacles and chains. Over here is a salt hammer, um, and there's like a gaff hook. Nah, Peef is just gonna run up to Madam Bees and fucking tackle her. Madam Peeves. Nice. He's that dryad strength. Fuck Hell yeah. yeah. Shit in her oh, mouth. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shit in your mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give her a minus. <laughs> she was looking towards Emmy and concentrating on her. Ah! Oh, yeah, bitch, eat oh. it, eat it, you fucking <sighs> absolute slag. <laughs> uh, yeah, so people jumps on top of her. Uh, what do you want to do now? Oh, wait a uh, minute. <gasps> She's got split image. What? Shit. <gasps> what? How dare you pull the same tricks that we do? I'm going to say four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> yeah, four, five, so. six is Madame Biaz. One, two, three is her split. You got her anyway. Nice. So I tackle her, and I would like to um, fucking like, grapple her. All right. Just like Pinner. Okay, cool. Go ahead and do your unarmed. Uh, since you're on top of her already, she's going to have negative four. Fourteen again. Nice. Nothing if not consistent. Hmm. Fuck you! Oh. All right, she's fighting and struggling with you on the ground at the moment. Uh, that is three actions that you've used right there. That's three actions? Yeah, the tackle and then the two for uh, a, a, a uh, submission kind of hold. Oh, really? Yeah. Darn. Um, I want to bite her. Okay. What is that? An unarmed, unarmed attack? Mm -hmm. God damn it. Bite your tongue. It hurts a lot. Well, you are still on hallucinogen, so, you know. I am, it's true. It's not all bad. Who knows what you think you're fighting? Is that a fumble? Crap, roll the fumble on the unarmed. Your, oh no, your jaw got charred. What? How did I get jarred? Yeah, she six. throws her claws up into your jaw as you're uh, trying to uh, trying to bite into her and uh, jars your uh, head. Yeah, you're actually poisoned right now, taking minus two attack and defend. I forgot about that. Well, that wouldn't have changed anything. Okay, that's my turn. 
Alar, I skipped you. Oh, why? Um, so I'm gonna do the Geist first. It's gonna spend uh, its last two Frenzy, and it's gonna do a five-hit combo on this guard. Cause why not? It's gonna go straight back to Purgatory when it's done. Might as well have a little fun. Ugh, a nine. Well, he could shit it. Shit your dodge roll, you fucker. In your own mouth. He's on the ground too. Yeah, that's quite a fumble. Well. <laughs> Got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. So damage. So when, when you do damage, uh, just skip the modifier. But when you get to power, hit uh, five. Nice. It's respectable. All right, that's the Geist's turn, and then LR is going to move. Is if he goes to there, is that close enough to touch Emmy? Not quite. No. All right. No. Can I move there? Cause that's eight hexes, right? Definitely. I think I can move eight hexes. Let me double check. I don't want to cheat. Dexterity, you have a move of 4 8, so it would be considered Ooh. running? That is running, yeah. So right. spells are minus 2. Okay, uh, I'm going to use two magical actions to attempt a heal spell on Emmy. Yes! It's a success! Ooh. Just barely. Just oh my barely god, is that right. with the minus 2? Oh no, it. It's not. <gasps> oh, it fails. Oh, no. It fails. Oh, but it isn't like critically fail, so that's okay. Oh wait, I have um I, I have um Astral Link is only if you roll a natural one, right? Yeah. Fudge. Shit. Oh yeah. Sorry. I've, I've let you down. Um, I will spend okay. uh, a third magical action to um, cast Split Image on Emmy. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Um, and then I'm going to spend... Let me, let me mark off my mana. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna spend. I don't like being this close to this guy. I'm gonna spend two frenzy, and I'm gonna spend one frenzy, I guess, to um, cast astral glaive on this Hallam fella. All right. Eleven. Mm. Oh no. Oh no! Alright, I'll spend a second frenzy and do it again. And I do it again. Ugh. Ugh. Ennis. And it's coming into the room this time. It's enough of that shit. Six to there. She is uh, seeing this guard here. Uh, and he's within range. She's going to quick, uh, just rapid, uh, uh, what the hell am I trying to say? Combo attack. Throw three throwing knives into it. Yeah. Rapid succession. And he is on the ground and he's fighting and has two. Yeah. Nice. Hey. Alright, NS. Let's see if you can do some damage here. She did pretty well last fight. Mm-hmm. Come on, NS. She's Ineth to Ineth. Oh yeah. 
Holy shit. Damn. Give that woman a saga. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's what? almost shit. almost as many explosions as what Jorda got. Jordan. Holy shit. Oh Damn. my god. What does this Three. look like? It's just beep beep beep. Three throwing knives. One to the face, one to the the cheek, like right through his face, and then one in the throat, and the guy just like dies horribly gurgling on blood that is some near jorda level damage oh my lord she's got like five times hotter she just does a, goes into a stance you know the, the hand on the hip thing <laughs> uh this guard's dead norgar okay norgar's now in full battle rage and he uh, closes on the uh, alum and tries to finish him off so he's going to do another heavy attack if I can get the right tab Got him. Yeah. Okay. So I've got times two damage. Seventeen armor. Mm. Two. He's still alive. It's. I just want to check something. Oh no, sorry, it should have been times three damage all this time. Oh yeah, you <laughs> fucking bleed. That's so right. Because I've now got cleave. Your um, heavy damage. Yeah, so your heavy attacks. that should be another 26? one. 26. Yeah. So 78 damage. Ooh. Another 26? Mm. Yeah. 26. He is so close. Oh. He's actually suffering from okay. heavy wound now, so he's minus to attack and defend. Good. Might die from um, pain. That's true. Norigar will. <laughs> Norigar wouldn't wait for that though. Of course, of <laughs> course. Would, Just be really funny. He's like. Eh, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it again. Um, just a just a quick attack this time. Okay. So he's. Um, he's not only. Oh, he's fighting Emmy. He's on the ground. Heads up. Oh, okay. But he's fighting LR. Okay, oh. cool. So I was doing it right then. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. And this is... Ah, oh, total to hit. Six. Yeah, but yeah. he has to fetch. There's two. There's only a quick, so I do have one more if I need it. Ooh. He's minus four. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Okay, barely, the last barely. one. Ching. Last one. Yeah. Oh, dodge that. That's what I thought. Yeah, bitch boy. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-two damage. Oh. Is it? Oh no, minus seventeen versus mm -hmm. armor. Five. Oh, he's still alive. Ah. Right, I'm burning a frenzy. No, no, wait. <laughs> no, I, was, I was gonna say, there's pain damage. Literally no. pain damage. He I mean, efficiency, wise, efficiency wise, this this is not a good idea. But Norigar would want to kill this guy. Understandable. Would really would. Understandable. Both because this guy's been holding um holding beef captive, and because anytime he sees a an ogre or a troll, mm -hmm. it feels dirty. Personal. Yeah. Yes. Um, he's just, he's just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actions one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. God damn it, I, I can still burn one more after this if I need to. <laughs> if you still have your weapon. Roll that melee. Oh yeah, true. Because you might yeet it across the room. Weapon, oh no! <sighs> Door is stuck! Stuck oh. in the stone. Or... Oh shit. Okay. That would right. I'll burn another frenzy to pull it free, but I won't be able to kill him. 
the pain will do that. So. You can't you can't burn a frenzy to uh, to do an action like that. It's got to be an attack. So oh, is it could, okay? You could shield no, bash or uh, oh yeah. Oh my god, bash, bash him in the there. kill him by bashing him in the face, please. Head butt. Yeah. Shield, shield bash. Yeah, I'll do a shield bash. Yeah. Task butt. Um, how do I do that? I don't think I've got it listed as a weapon. Um. Oh, actually, I could just let go of the um. Yep, yeah, now. yeah. And quick draw and, and do the quick draw on my uh, stone hammer. That's true. So I'll do that. Yeah. And last, last attack is that stone hammer. That's great. Perfect. Nice. My, origi my original weapon. The OG. Minus four. Ah. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, come over on. seventeen. All you have stone to do. Stone hammer. You did put your yeah. nice splat. Okay, and Norigar sort of stops and pants for a second as he uh, caves in the, the skull of this this uh, ogre next to him. And he kind of stops and pants for a second, and he just realizes only then just how enraged he'd become, and he's kind of struggling to uh, control <laughs> himself. And then he kind of nods to Emmy and Ela. <laughs> if it's all right, I you missed with the Ugnar, like you were swinging for Hallam's head, and Hallam ducked, and it and it came right at, like, right over LR and buried into the door jam, and so now there's, there's like this Ugnar right above LR's head wet into the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Alright. All right. Emmy. Emmy, is that enough to jump to her feet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so she you don't You don't actually have to... Oh! Okay, cool. So she hops back up to her feet, and she's, like, she's bleeding. Um, there's, like, acid eating away at one of her arms. Uh, she just gives a nod to Norigar and turns around, because she knows that there's an acid orb that came from back here, and she sees um, Madame, and she also sees Peef on top of her, and she says, Peef! She charges over. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Wait. And there's no waiting. There's only there is only uh Okay, I'm gonna make a will check to see whether she is going to do some one thing or the other. Okay. Nope! Pound this woman into the ground. Um <laughs> fuck this old lady. I don't give a shit. <laughs> we do a three-hit combo. Wait. Mm. I might have to wait. She's held, and she's, uh... Ah, uh, no. First one does not work. I will do, uh, spend a one for Kata, and then I will burn my last two Frenzy and do another three-hit combo against her. Alright. And I also have a chance of hitting her fucking mirror image, too. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, that's right. She still has that damn thing. Would that still work, even though Peef is on top of the real her? You know what? I'm gonna take it away, yeah. <laughs> That's a good call, Amy. But, Emma. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, bitch, eat it! Oh, yeah, it's baby! To pound this old lady to the <sighs> ground! Woo! Hitting old people! Bam, 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 bam! <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like as you tear mad of this poor old lady apart <laughs> so her first like strike uh as her face her hands kind of heat up um it just slams into the wall and um she takes a big chunk out of it and then she reels back and i think peef maybe holds the lady back a bit um so it's easier for emmy to hit maybe like puts her in um like a half Nelson or something and then it's just easy for Emmy to dive into this woman at that point and just pounds her into dust nice and we are out you guys yeah, Emmy 
breathes heavily, bleeding, and she looks down to Peeve, and she immediately uh, just kind of comes over, and she'll, like, extend her arms, um, aiming to scoop Peeve up into a hug. Peeve she, will allow it. Uh, Emmy starts sobbing as she grabs onto Peeve and hugs her tightly. She says, I was so worried about you. Sorry we could, didn't come sooner. Um, it, it's fine. They gave me drugs. Oh, drugs are really bad. Don't do drugs, beef. But I, I knew you guys were gonna come, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, well, yeah, of course we're gonna come for you. I think they have the eye. They- where? I don't know. But she seemed to know what I was talking about and was like, oh, did what's his face uh, send you here? Tell him the red. I think she prefers what's his face. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were asking like for a, <laughs> for a fill in there. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I as a player didn't know either, but. <laughs> Emmy nods and says, maybe it's here. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe we could look around and see if it's down here or something. At. I'm just glad we got you out. Yeah. Thanks. You look really... Is that blood or am I still hallucinating? There's blood. I think there's some skin. I don't know. She looks at her arm uh, that some of the acid's eaten through. There's some bare flesh that's showing. Yeah, it looks like your entire face is melting. It's my arm. My face is not on my arm, but yeah, it hurts a lot. I'm okay. Your arm looks fine. Oh, what? Oh, drugs. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, Norgarn, Elarn, and Ithaya are here as well. Don't leave me down here. Uh, Emmy, How are you? Over. My name is Klong. You can see an orc. He's uh, like a handsome looking orc. Ooh. Or, uh, uh, who sorry. are you? I am a Templar. You a good Templar? I'm guessing a, you're a good Templar. Uh, where's the keys? And she starts searching the bloody pile of pulp that is the madame. I um, believe the ogre had it. Can I? Do I think I'll be able to? Break this lock if I pull hard enough on it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Norgard just grabs it and pulls hard. Yeah, and uh, Klong is able to reach up and grab the jump up and grab the bars. Are there any other prisoners in here? Is that LR asking, or, or are you just looking around? Yeah, yeah. Uh, LR is is trying to find if there are any other people in this these other two cells uh not in the other two cells there um uh, this guy climbs out and uh, he says there are others here and i am i am one of the vigilant oh that's the the guy that oh. we saw at the bridge that time wasn't it <gasps> yeah. you talk to us my Iman, Relic. Relic, yes. He is our leader. Was he here as well? I don't know. They oh. attacked our ship. They sunk the ship. And Some one of, of your us. people, Berm, he's been infected by corruption. Has seen it in his aura. Ah. <sighs> Well, that shall have to be remedied then. Who who are you? I I'm Peeve. I'm Emmy. And Norigar uh, kind of uh, he's he's sheathed his sword and he's just busy putting his um, shield back on his back, and he sort of claps his fist to his chest and says, "I'm Norigar." Uh, humble servant of the Maker. 
Emmy, anything for nothing, but you should come over here and let me look at that arm. Um, yeah, okay, and she pushes herself off the ground and walks over to Ella. Uh, spooky friend you have there. Oh, yeah, Rogue, I should have done this when uh, I cast the spell, but um, he's only around for a certain number of rounds. Is there a continuum on that or no? Um... It says 3d6, but not a ton of oh. stuff in the... Oh, no. No. Okay, so just Not unless you, like, roll a, a nat 20 on the cast. Alright, so... Oh, then, it, yeah. then it doubles... Then it doubles the duration. He'll be disappearing so he, shortly. Yeah, so he goes away. He probably uh, stands yeah, up for a minute. seven rounds total, and I don't know how many it's been, but yeah, by the time we're done talking here, I'm sure, poof. So, uh, as LR is, um trying to get Emmy to sit down and be still so that he can treat her wounds he'll say ah, I've done a lot of research and the, uh, when I was in the library I saw there's a uh, there's places where the souls of those who have passed on can either work off the sin that they've committed or it piles up and they are eventually damned so that one, now that he's done a favor and made the world a bit of a better place, he gets to go on, perhaps a little bit sooner, to what is paradises. Noragar looks across and he's looking a little bit confused, but he sort of says, I was a little unsure when that thing appeared, but what you say sounds like a good thing and it certainly helped save us so thank you yeah I mean not just that thing but you uh, I mean if it wasn't for you Alar I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd probably be dead to be honest Alar blushes and looks uncomfortable w with the praise and he says well, anything for nothing, but y'all have all been very kind to me, and you're Mara. I'll do anything I can for you, all of you. You know we do the same. Uh, so let's see. Heal 64. You. That's pretty good. Bad, bad, bad. 99. Oh, that's not nearly enough. I'm going to do it again. Oh. <laughs> I'm 41 off. Ooh. You have so much mana. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I have a lot of mana. Woohoo. He stacked it up. <laughs> He's probably yeah. like 20 hit points. 500 mana. <laughs> that's perfect. I'm back to full. Like like an Aki character. Um, <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually rolled um, for one of my gifts. I rolled plus ten hit points, and it increased my hit points by like twenty five percent. And I know we're not in combat, but can I use that item that gives me back um, a d twenty mana per round? The Jasper. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, All right, definitely. I'm just gonna just roll it a bunch. Okay. You can do okay. 20 times mm -hmm. rounds, or you can that oh, works. Is, do it uh, as you want. Uh, Emmy hops back to her feet, now uh, completely healed by LR, and she kind of looks down at herself, flexes her arms, seeing that the wounds have been completely mended. She smiles to LR and says, This is much better than anything I can do. Jeez. Damn. Thank you. I learned that from Aestus. Well, not exactly, but in a manner of speaking, she did it to me once and I'd never seen any such before. So as soon as we got to Northwater, I couldn't wait to see the library so I could learn it on my own. And that's what I've been doing when you haven't seen me. Well, I'm trying to get Delius to learn how to do it as well. Well, I asked him to do it and he said yes. Maybe he could, like, uh, I don't know, Eunestus could help him out if he needs it. I'm not saying that he needs it, but maybe, you know. You all 
Um, see my stuff? Uh... Norigar walks over to Peef, and as she dodges out the way in time, he's going to pick her up and uh, hug her. She will allow this. <laughs> and it's it's really awkward armoured hug. He's not a hugger. Um, but he's just so glad to see her, and then he kind of holds her out at arm's length afterwards and says, You are a sight for sore eyes. And then he um, realises he's He's uh, it's, it's close to a public display of affection, so he's kind of like, oh, and then, oh, sorry, and puts her down. So, so, we were we were worried, but you uh, should have known better. You you escaped. She's looking at you a bit weird. Uh, she's got like this puzzled expression on her face, and I imagine she doesn't have her mask. Um, probably with the rest of her stuff, wherever that is, but. She's got this puzzled expression on her face and is looking at you. She's like, Norgar, your skin's melting. And uh, he says, what? What? And he kind of looks at his arms and everything and he goes, and then touches his face and is like, no, no, I think I'm all right. And he looks around at the others to see if anyone else is, uh, is looking kind of uh, horrified in his direction. And if they're not, he just looks back to Peef and goes, Are you alright there, Peef? Did they, uh... Did they do something to you? Dark they, rituals? They gave me drugs. Oh. Yes, the madam is a wicked woman. Well, she was. Yeah, her wickedness is at an end now. Have you destroyed the rest of them? Upstairs. No. No, no like, we've got... There's, there's a lot more upstairs. They were having secret meetings. Toko, where's Toko? Toko squeaks, and uh, Toko was next to a chest over here. Uh, and taking coins off the table over there. Oh, what a good <laughs> boy! <laughs> Roll. Yeah, she's putting them in her little pouch on her belt. There's a pouch! And, uh, <laughs> she does. Yeah, and a little... And, uh, Get her whole she, outfit made. Yeah, she jumps over here, jumps on the, uh, on the chest. Um, Peef, are you alright? Do you need healing? Like... Peef have any obvious injuries that, that are visible? No, she seems totally fine. And we've never seen her with Eller's never seen her without the mask on, so to him it looks like you have something wrong with you, right? Uh there's a lot of bark growing out of her face. Um and out of her arms as well now. Um to those of you paying attention, it seems like her mutation has kind of like progressed a bit. Um, that's right. <gasps> but yeah. she's yeah. drugged right now, so she's not thinking about the fact she doesn't have her mask. I mean, he's no LR idea. would say, did they do this to you? Huh? Did they do that to your skin? No, she's just, that's just her skin. Her eyebrows furrow. Where's, where's my face? It's on your head. It's like between your shoulders. No, and, no, um, my my mask. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta find the yeah. Um, she kind of like stuff. points at at Elar. You're not supposed to see me. Um, Elar would um look very troubled and would say, "Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, well, and anything for nothing. I just." I just... <laughs> Let's go find your stuff. Yeah. You okay, Iller? Everybody make a perception check. Can I use observation? No. Okay. Ah, three. That's, that makes sense. 
Oh, little drug baby. Ineth, oh better God, fucking. Yeah. Ineth, please. Klong. <gasps> Did Sam yeah. leave? That fucking bitch. <laughs> <gasps> Noriko was about to walk after her and thank her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she might be trying to get out of here. God damn it! You're gonna be like, you're set free now since you helped with P, and then she just leaves. <laughs> what a bitch! Ugh. Oh. Clark's busy looking around the room. Klong. He's busy looking around the room. Um, <laughs> yeah, did you just notice. Everyone. You just notice that um, she's not there anymore. Same isn't there anymore. And uh, Nor Norigar will kind of snarl and say, Just when I was about to thank her too. You think you can finally trust someone? And... Nah. Ah, should have known better. Mm, Emmy shrugs and says, The most important thing is that we got back Peef. Yeah, that's true. Let's go get that stuff. Uh, Peef, in it. Long, do you have any stuff that we need to find? Is he dressed? I do. And, uh, yeah, he's just wearing, like, a baldric and a, you know, What's a ragged. baldric? And, and, like, a tunic, yeah. It's nothing to do with testicles, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How small is this link <laughs> The ball trick is uh, the thing that dangles down and covers the uh, testes. Oh, is it big enough? Let's see. Uh, what's this ball trick for schlong. Yeah, you said he's pretty. <laughs> he's got to have at least like a 15. I'll do uh, 3d10. Yeah. Here. Or uh, 2d10 three times. Yeah, yeah. Best yeah. out of. Shit. Shit. There we go. There's 15. the 15. 15. Um, uh, Toko does find your stuff, though, in the chest. Um, Peef, so you get all your stuff back here. Good. She puts on her mask. And, um, you do notice same comes around the corner again. And she says, hey. they're coming. Oh, shit. We have to get out of here. Uh, I'm, we're glad you're back. Um, we totally didn't think that you left. That's a lie. We did. Um, can you leave, lead us out of here? Yes, well, let's go this way, and they're coming this way, so okay, perhaps okay. we could avoid them this way. Yeah, um, um hey, so you go ahead. I'm just going to say, and Norigar says in a, in what he thinks is a whisper to Ilar, but probably isn't, says, Bloody hell, I was sure she'd run for it. <sighs> so, um, Elar's just gasping and wheezing and trying desperately to to draw a breath and he says ah, what all our prisoners yeah you lean on me and Norigar throws out uh, an arm and for you know, to lean on just go just just uh, just get your breath don't worry I'll, I'll take your weight and it probably doesn't help but it's all Norigar can think of doing all right and um anything else as you guys are taking mm. off out of here yeah emmy's gonna grab that key from the templar that he had mm -hmm. just in case and he maybe he has more than one key so she'll grab if he's like a key ring she'll grab the entire thing so maybe she yeah. can, they can come back later um yeah yeah she'll, she'll take in his hand as they uh start to head out nice. lr will feebly tug on norigar and point to the body of um, the old woman. All right, all right. Just, just quickly, and then um, Norigal will quickly lumber over to her. And in fact, he'll kind of, 
he'll kind of carry drag Ilar over to her and um, uh, then he'll rummage through her stuff, grab anything where Ilar nods or anything, stuff it all in one of his um, innumerable bags and sacks um, and then uh, grab Ilar and lumber after the rest. Yeah, just looking for anything that would, um, you know, maybe give us a clue about where to find the eye or follow up with the cult. Yeah, looking around, I mean... Nothing down here that looks like an altar or anything, right? Where they would display that thing and worship it or whatever the hell cultists do with shit like that. There was something in that first room, wasn't there? Like a demon face on the wall? I don't know if that was significant. Yeah. There was. There was a fountain and it had a, some kind of strange demon face uh, carved onto the wall. It did have runes and, and stuff around the uh, around the waterfall. Um, uh, strange oh, runes. Demon or I could try and go there and have a look. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, uh, as, as Peef, uh, I mean, other than that, you do see the Elder Eye in a couple of places down here, but you don't see anything um, that would give away that it, you know, any information about the eye and, uh, that you're looking for. Uh, Peef, when you're looking down that corridor there, uh, you notice that there are people coming this way, and uh, they're, they're running across the room. They're not coming down this hallway towards you, but they're running across the room and like going into that bathroom area. Um, and there's a bunch of them. They look like a bunch of guards. Uh, mm. So you don't have much time to explore. I mean, unless you want to fight more. Session part two, fighting know. Boogaloo. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys are can escaping. I ask two quick questions before <laughs> we make our decision? Um, the uh, runes that were around the demon face uh, above the fountain, were they just decorative, or could I have used Decipher to know what those were? Or were they written in a language that I possibly speak? Um, they are... Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do Decipher. Okay. It's not is Azethanol or Olden? It was not Azethanol. Okay. That's the dragon tongue, yeah. Uh, Thok, and then um, the other one is the uh, Neph Nephilim language. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this is This is... This is uh... Not a spell. This is Voku. You might have to remember them and then log them later. Do you have the eidetic memory? I don't. That was my oh. decipher check. Okay, so I'll give you more information later on that. Oh! And then the, the other question is, um, <clears throat> with the illusion spell, can I make it seem that we are not here? So when they look down into this room, they just see an empty room, or if they look down the hallway, they see an empty hallway? Oh, shit. Do you have that spell? I do. Hell yeah, you could try that. Well, we're gonna bolt though, right? I mean, what's the consensus? Yeah, I think we should, considering. I mean, it's, I mean, it's late on the east coast. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. willing to stay up forever, uh, but Emma has work tomorrow. Um, Do you have work tomorrow? Unfortunately, Keith wants to fight, but Emma needs the session to end. Yeah. Um, okay. what I would suggest maybe um is like if we leave and then maybe suggest regrouping on the 13th. That's maybe what uh Team Wafy Elf can do if they want to come back here. Emmy will give you the keys that she has. Or you guys don't have to do that. You can do other things, whatever you want. But we want to pound these men into sand! Only worry is they're going to move the eye. Yeah. They realize Peef has escaped and people have come and saved her. Yeah. Which is why Peef would want to do it now. Mm -hmm. I mean... Idea... Um... Mm -hmm. If 
y'all want to do it because the fourth is the next demon gate game right i don't know if maybe emma wants to play peef that day and come in with that group and i mean i could totally play as well <laughs> would that be all the same people here uh nice. just no wanderer it would just be adding effie and aki instead of wonder hmm Maybe Wanderer, or sorry, Norgar might be help uh, get out with Same and Klong. Yeah, and, and he then... needs to go and he needs to go and see Delius as well and kind of set things right with him. So yeah, I suggest we come back in the morning, or maybe the morning. I don't know. I'm really low on chi. Um, it's true. It's three in the morning. You guys are battling. You've had like three battles. Today and Peef's on drugs. Peef would be at minus two all mm -hmm. the entire time. Yeah. Friday is the fourth. Friday is available the fourth, that yeah. day. Yeah, you're playing that day. Oh, then yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, for uh, for that session. Oh, well, I'll, we'll talk to it about it after. Um, yeah, yeah. The only thing I do want to do, just on the way out, if it's quick, is just that no, I would want to have a look at that altar, but we can do that. Yeah, yeah, it. definitely. You just drop something in the chat or something. I, yeah, there's one, I think one thing also that Emmy wants to do before they go, as they're kind of like waiting um, for guards to pass or whatever, and they're trying to kind of pass by, um, she's uh, going to take a moment and kind of look towards Inneth, and she, actually, she's going to probably take tomorrow off because she's really upset, um, and uh, she says, I am... Um, I of course want you I don't want to block you from ever doing what you think you want to do or anything like that um just know that uh, I'm always gonna worry about you no matter what whenever you kind of like you know go off or anything I don't know I just don't want anything bad happening to you worried about me yeah ah uh, you have nothing to worry about I should be worried. You're the one that charged headfirst into all those men. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I, um... That spell that Elhar can cast, uh... It's the same one that... Not from him, but it's the same one that, uh... Killed Marty. The fire. Yeah. I'm sorry about your friend. Yeah, me too. Me too. She, she gives you a kiss on the cheek and, and smiles and um and Klong gets down right next to you. What are we talking about? Uh, she looks up to Klong and says <laughs> it's it's a couple things, it's fine. Oh. I thought we were talking about getting out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Emmy um, will continue on. <laughs> Damn it, Claw. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Okay, dick. laughs> <laughs> I'm not being too loud, am I? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to hear anything over LR's hacking and coughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you, um, you are going to try that illusion spell? Yeah. Or are you going to waste I mean, Okay. If it's uh, going to help us escape, if it's necessary. I, I am going to say, um, everybody make a uh, concealment check oh, as you're running it. out of there. But Norger is going to fail it no matter what. Yep. That's what the illusion's <laughs> for, yeah. Mm. But if you're casting an illusion, yeah, it, that. Might, it might not matter if they fail or not. Uh. Uh, uh, this is perception based. Ah, tits. God damn it. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Uh, okay, yeah, just do 1v2 again. There you go. Alright, so never mind it. Never mind it. Oh, LR's yeah. illusion spell. Go ahead and and uh, explain, describe how you uh, 
totally miff the guards there. Uh, they would have most likely seen you guys as, you know, running down that passage if you wouldn't have done this. Yeah, so basically, um, when LR first came around the corner from the bathroom into this area where the two gates are, what he saw was, you know, like, before uh, Emmy engaged them was, you know, two guys sitting at this table playing cards, and another guy sitting over here, so he's gonna do it the same way. So, no blood on the floor, the gates are still up, guys playing cards, another guy over there sitting there talking, it looks just completely normal in there. Conversations going on, they're like, man, what I'm saying, you know, like, oh, the luck with you in this game! You're gonna take all my money! And, you know, the laughter and that sort of thing. So when the guys, the guards come around, they just see exactly the scene that they would expect to see. And and then I have to make a willpower roll, right? Yeah, hang on. I'll put it in chat so we can look at it together. Oh, just roll my willpower attribute? Yep. Okay. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Nice. And uh, and the spell hold for uh, a while. You can probably notice as everybody's like down the passageway and sneaking around them. Um, uh, you notice that they start to try to interact with the uh, the illusions. One of the guards walks up and he says, "We heard noises down here. There's an alarm. What's going on? Where's the uh. where's the madam? You know." And the illusions are they would not respond because you know lr is not there to program them right right so you you guys disappear and, and uh take off into the bathhouse jump over the wall uh that 15 foot down into the garden is is nothing you know it's a drop and uh disappear into the night and that's where we'll end it Ooh. all right so 